Hey everybody, uh, we're live. As soon as I can get my camera adjusted. <laughs> I told you I had to set up. <laughs> hey everybody, glad to see you here. Everybody that's in the chat so far has been here. Uh, we have Migs, we have Johnny Fitz, we have Pencil for Life. Um, let's see what we got here. We had or have Jeremiah Jones. So we already got a little bit of a house in here tonight. That's awesome. Welcome, 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 welcome to everybody. Um, first thing I want to ask you real quick before we get going is, once I get my camera straight, um, how loud is my fan in the background? Is that irritating to you guys or let me know. Oh, we have Mark Anthony. He has dropped in. Hey, uh, we have... Call of Duty Demon 3030, who sounds like they're new to the channel. Maybe. I don't recognize the screen name, but cool. Um, Jeremiah Jones says, I do not hear a fan. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's where I'm living, where I live right now. Uh, um, great. Oh, cool. Hey, Zach. Good seeing you, buddy. Sweet, man. Glad to have you in here. All right, um, since nobody can really hear the fan too much, um, that's good. Um, if you're new to the show, to my stream, whatever you want to say, uh, I am doing what's called the free sketches for backers uh, stream that I usually do for everybody during the show. If you go and back my book, Dragon Guard, which is a fantasy book, if you love like uh, 80s cartoons, if you love fantasy, uh, if you like uh, 80s cartoons like He-Man, Thundercats, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, maybe some early 90s uh, gargoyles, uh, shows like that, sectars, visionaries, fans, all that kind of cool golden age of cartoons, or I'm not sure what you would call it, maybe Bronze Age, I'm not sure, but anyway, regardless, uh, it was a golden age of cool cartoons and I'm a big fan of that stuff. So my book Dragon Guard is kind of inspired by that. So if you go check that out, the link is in the, the description. Here's what we do after you go check it out. And if you decide you want to back Dragon Guard at any particular tier, you come back here, drop your backer number in the chat and I will draw a six by eight, a lovely six by eight. You see it right here. Uh, pencil and ink drawing of any character you want. Uh, Mike Miller likes to think of it as bribing, but, uh, I like to think of it as an extra little thank you to everybody who's out here has been show, showing me love and support. So if it's, bri if it's bribing, well, I'm guilty, whatever, whatever you want to say. Um, so <laughs> Mark Anthony and Biggs, my art rival. Yes. Uh, it's good seeing us uh, call of duty demon 3030 here. Good seeing you, Zach. Um, and Andrew J. I'm sorry. I even forgot Andrew J. Here he is. He's hanging out here. Blue Boy Hobbies and more. Oh, boy. Look at it. We got we got a good house here already. Um, we're on a Sunday evening. So, like I said, in the chat or in the description, you can check the link to Dragon Guard on Indiegogo. If you want to check that out, I've got a, I think it's a great book. Um, here's the deal. Here's the inspiration and more the motivation. I would like... Uh, we have a per we've already hit our first stretch goal, which is the extra pages of story. You get eight extra pages of story. Um, yesterday I was inspired. I didn't do a live stream yesterday. I usually do it on a Saturday, but uh, I didn't do it yesterday because I got inspired. And I have a story thing kind of fleshed out for the ending of the the book. So I may don't hold it hold me to it, but I may make it instead of an extra eight pages, which would be 70 page or 68 pages um the book may go to 70 okay um don't hold it to me i'm still working the pages out on that one but we're at we got our stretch goal for 68. now our next stretch goal is free a free card set for all you backers i know it's worded funny on the the stretch goal graphic that i put on there so i'm going to replace that before the end of the before the end of the campaign so that I properly reflects what I mean. Somebody pointed it out, and it's my fault. I could stand to word some of these things a little bit better. But um, but it will be a 
uh, you guys will get at least an eight card set. May go to ten, at least eight though. Okay. And uh, joining me on this card set now. Here's here's the kicker. Um, we've got myself. I've got Siege O'Shana Chain. I'm trying. I swear to, gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing everything right. But uh, Siege is a drawn and quartered uh, regular, and she's done two cards, not just one, but two. Um, we have Eric Minoltowski, who did a great card. Uh, we also have from Drawn and Quartered, um, Mr. Pencil for Life, Brad Ashworth. He just revealed his card today. And so I've got great people working on this. And I also have, uh, Matt Cosson, who's working on his, he just sent me the black and white line artwork for that. And then coloring it is a buddy of mine, Mr. Frank Quanzo, who has already, sh I've shown you some of his colors. I'm going to show you some more. I'll repost it on the Twitter, but Frank's doing some awesome colors. So if you, you guys, he's a good, really kind of undiscovered talent right now. So I'm really happy to have him on here. So anyway, he'll be coloring the cards and, or at least the cards that other people want. Now, the other surprises that I was going to tell you about is, uh number one uh we were talking about oh gotham knights here i'm sorry you get in here zombie kebab there we go um matthew weldon um elliot fernandez and mike miller have contributed something to everything um i'm not sure what i'm going to use for for Elliot and Matt Weldon yet. I still haven't worked that out because I had originally reason being out long story short, or it's going to be a little bit of a long story, but I'll try to get onto it. All right. Before I start anyway, I've got two covers aligned. I didn't know how my cover, my printer was going to align or how I'd be able to print the other alternate covers. If I wanted to do it with how expensive it is, but it's looking like I'll have Matt Mike as another alternate cover. And what I'm thinking of is uh, maybe having Elliot and uh, Matthew Weldon's as prints. And those would be free comic size prints that everybody would get. Not just, you know, at a certain tier, you guys would get every, a print of their stuff for free. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I may have to change it. I'm not sure. I just need to look at the costs and things like that. But anyway, there you go. All right. You've heard me rambling, but those were the surprises for the backers. Everybody's contributing such great art. It's so hard to choose and make sure you know what they would do because it, everybody's just throwing in some great stuff, you know. So um, my goal is to give you all free stuff and not necessarily go in the hole because I do it. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying. I'm not... You know, it's not a big deal. Um, All righty. Well, the first, we're doing uh, free sketches for backers. So my first backer of the night is Mr. Miggs. Um, he came in when he's backer number 435. Um, so Miggs, my man, um, tell me what character you would like me to draw, and we'll get this train rolling. Uh, real quick note, I'm going to stay here as long as I can. Uh, it's going to be another night where my stepson, I have to pick my stepson up from work. So, uh, I, I'll be here at least till around 11 or 10, 10 30, 11. So there we go. <laughs> All righty. Oh, there's Brad. Hey, physical life. And, um, a shout out to Eric Hawkins, a shout out to Andrew J shout out to, uh, Mr. Gotham Knight. So anyway, while I wait for Miggs, Miggs is going to let me know what character he would like. Ooh, we got another contribution. So anyway, as I'm talking to you guys, um, the the goal is, the next stretch goal is 29000 That's for the cards. So you guys would get a free set of cards, okay? Um, so that's what we're aiming for. We just cross the 27 27k line thank you guys 
but we're going to keep on rocking and rolling it. Um, yeah, yeah. I just want to publicly say that uh, Brad Ashworth came in and surprised me because he really, he really outdid himself with that card. Um, re very thankful that he took the time. Um, actually, a lot of you guys, uh, Matt Weldon and um, Elliot, both just you know knocked it, knocked it out of the park, man. <laughs> I can't even explain to you. How much everybody did but i but i want to point it out that brad really really put in some time on it and thank you brad because you didn't have to and i really appreciate it okay let's see migs man i'm torn was i'm saving my main commission for the nine by twelve well you get a free one here anyway so you know it's 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 all good mix um And brother, you're you're awesome. You've been awesome. So, uh, I don't have any nine by twelve paper with me right now. Um, I didn't bring any because of regular, <laughs> funny story. We were trying. Me and my fiance were trying on our wedding rings before I left to come up here, and just trying them on. You know, daydreaming and all that good stuff. And tried on. The rings and one of the rings got stuck on my finger wrong finger but uh, it was funny took me a little bit to get that off my finger all righty let's see nick says amazon from dragon's cat crown all right yep gotham might yeah definitely this the she-ra i'm gonna get that she-ra to you Oh yeah, while I'm here, Gotham. I probably should address this real quick. I'm not. No, you guys are waiting for me to start. Um, if you don't know, that was the other thing, and I should address that. And I apologize. Um, we changed the the rules for the drawing, um, the free drawings. Uh, if you've been here, you already know this. But I was just going to say the rules for the free drawing is is that because some people were bending the rules a little bit with. Uh, refunds and things like that the free sketches mail out after the campaign ends so that would be like in the next 10 days okay so just to let you guys know um well johnny Pitts, i'm glad you came in anyway dude so you know it, it uh i will get to drawing i promise <laughs> maybe that's what you're trying to say it's like hurry up and get you to drawing yeah definitely we'll get to drawing um I'm going to look up Dragon Crown right now. Dragon's Crown on the old iPad. I have off to the side here. Wow, I can see why why Migs picked this character. <laughs> Just kidding with you, Migs. Give you a hard time. Yeah, man. I, I'm sorry. I had the fan running, and I didn't know if anybody you guys could. We went from like uh, last week, where we had down to like 30 some degrees at night and 50 degrees in the daytime, to being. Uh, uh, today, I. Feels like it's in the 80s or close to the 90s or something, and it's it's bizarre. So it's just been really hot today. It's not very comfortable from where I'm broadcasting. So I had to get the fan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Gotham Knight. That helps me stay on track. I get I get a little. Uh, I get to rambling and going off track yeah uh, so if you're if you got sketches if you get a sketch tonight it will be mailed out but it will be mailed until won't be mailed until after the campaign uh, the campaign itself ends not when we or if you request so I can add it with whatever your perks are and mail it out you know in October so it's up to you
Okay. So I'm gonna go. This is Migs. I'll write down everybody's character. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a interesting character. Should be pretty, pretty fun and pretty easy to draw. There, Migs. Okay. I love that there's not a lot of costume details that I have to work. <laughs> Okay, so everybody, we got 13 people lurking around. If you're lurking around and, well, we got some of those people in the chats. But please share, like and share, get some more people if you want. Um, we cross, we cross, we cross the 27K line today. So that's awesome. And all we have to go to is the 29 and we get the cards a couple of those will be re reworded i'm hoping probably tomorrow uh some of the stretch goals i mean and uh so that they're clear i apologize for some of the miswording or it's kind of not meant to, to be worded the way it is on the uh on the graphic She has a gigantic X. So I will try to fit as much as I can in here, Mix. All righty. Let's see. I'm looking around here. Yeah, Captain Hills. Will Mike's cover go up on the campaign soon? Yeah, the black and white will. Um, I'm kind of low on cash right at the moment, so I haven't had anybody uh, color it up yet. Um, I'm still trying to decide on who I'm going to get to color it. Um, a lot of people have been very specific about their particular colors. I know she's got these tattoos down here. I'll try to get it as accurate as I can there, Migs, for you. Okay. She's called Amazon, and I think I know why. And Andrew J comes back and says, backer number 438, let's go. Yeah, that's what I like. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Gigantic, baby. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Captain Hilt says free sketches for backers during the stream. Oh, wow, Jeremiah Jones, dude. Thank you, man. You guys are awesome. I I, 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 I feel bad. Don't, uh, don't put yourself. I mean, if you want to, that's one thing. I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be fighting or arguing with you on it. But I, you know, I know with this this crisis that we're dealing with all, 
everybody should, you know, spend wisely. I say that, and there's tons of other campaigns that are doing like hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> but, you know, I don't want to take advantage of anybody, and I, I really appreciate your generosity already. So, dude, just thank you. Oh, sorry. I was just looking at the chat for a second watching you guys. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. From what I can tell, Mix, you can tell me if I'm wrong or not, but from the reference I'm looking at from several pictures, she seems to have sort of a Red Sonia type top. Not exactly the same, but it's kind of close. Very close. Tell me if I'm wrong or right. Mark Anthony, thank you too, dude. <clears throat> well, Jeremiah Jones has a offer out there. I won't say too much, but if you want to want to take him up on his offer, he's out there. So please understand that being very generous, very kind. And I, uh, while well, I take a chance to, you know, um, I'll take a quick chance to promote my appearance. I'm going to be on Tuesday. I'm going to be on rage golden Eagles stream again. Um, promoting the book uh he had had me on there he asked me if i wanted to do the show before and uh he was really kind and his his view, viewers were really kind and they've been backing you know it's probably some of the best promotion that i've had so far uh has been coming from doing rage gold needle eagles uh live stream so uh if you and the talk tends to get a little adult um so, you know, the language may not be necessarily appropriate for everybody, but if you want to check that out, it'll be Tuesday night. I think it'll be like maybe around 8.30 or 9, something like that. All right, so we got this. And I'm glad everybody's in here. We got 14 people watching, 10 likes. If everybody would like and share on YouTube, maybe we can get a few more people out. All right. I'm going to start thinking in just a second. I want to make sure I got the little details. Migs is one of those guys that has been a supporter and backed me, and I can't say enough good things about the guy. And Migs got injured recently, and uh, – He's still out here on my stream trying to support me. So thank you, Migs. Everybody give a shout out to Migs. Give a shout out to Mark Anthony, Jeremiah Jones, and then our mod, Captain Hiltz. He's been awesome too. Andrew J. And Johnny Fitz says, Jeremiah Jones, I'll take you up. There we go. There's obviously, obviously somebody interest. All right. Hey, Mick, some of, I hope you don't mind the, the little uh, Valkyrie Eagle Wings thing on her headdress kind of runs off the page there. We have my eraser. I brought an eraser this time, believe it or not. So I can lighten all this stuff up. It won't look like a chaotic mess. All right. Dude, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. All right. 
we got 16 people in 11 people liking everybody like and share like and share like and share if you can man it just seems like a a week or a season or well not a season but a week or a day or something for injuries man i i'm dealing with some kind of nerve pain not nerve pain but something from my back down through my leg from my lower back my tailbone or whatever and i cannot sit this has been the first chair i've sat in where i've been comfortable all day it's been like kind of like a really annoying headache or you know it feels as bad as like a headache or a cramp not really a cramp but annoying like that all down through the side of my leg and it's been difficult to sit and draw or sit and do anything or lay down or I'm not sure what it is and then poor migs so migs i'm going to try to make this a, a nicer one for you buddy because of everything you've been through and you're still hanging on and supporting us dude i really appreciate it oh i hear you brad yep good idea I like this character. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Also, since it's been warm, I'm dealing with a little sinuses and uh, pollen. <coughs> Hold on, guys. Uh. Here we go. <laughs> Don't worry, Migs, I did not call upon your drawing. <laughs> Yeah, got some night. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I used to not. I don't know. I get a little worried about it, but I used to not be bothered by pollen so much. I do get really bad sinus headaches every once in a while. Had those since I was a kid. But here lately, man, I don't know what it is. But the last year or so, I can bad pollen days. I could just cough and cough and cough, and the sinuses are all goofy and runny. <laughs> r2d2 for my sis covid 19 in the house oh that's awesome charlie chase hey buddy oh charlie i'm glad you're here dude uh send me your address on twitter uh i'm holding on to yours i'm sorry it took me i haven't gotten it mailed out but uh i never could find your address so shoot me that in the, uh facebook not twitter facebook um and make sure you get that to me because i want to get that out to you man plus i'll send you a print of dragon guard for free you heard me say it um but i i apologize dude because charlie is uh local to me and he's at a lot of the shows um uh, and uh he's a good guy and he was one of the first people here for me 
when I started doing these. So if you're wondering, I, I, the only reason I haven't sent it, I just, I'm trying to find your address. So I apologize about that. I might, I might have, uh, I need to go see. I might have wrote it down and not even realized it. Um, people that know me know I am a tad bit of a, I tend to forget some things sometimes. Okay. So if you're just joining us right now, we've got a great group of people here. Look at this. We had 20 people showing and then 12. So we got all kinds of backers. Andrew J is up after this one, I believe. All right. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Charlie. I just got the notifications, man. Thanks, dude. So if you just joined us, I'm doing free sketches for backers tonight. And very simple rules. You go check out the links in either the chat or in the description. I have it there. Go to Indiegogo. Check out my book, Dragon Guard, which is a fantasy book that's kind of a love letter to the 80s cartoons you know and love, like He-Man and Dungeons and & Dragons and Thundercats and Visionaries. And if you really like that, if you like what you see and you decide to trust me enough to back me, please uh, back us. Come back here to the chat. Drop your backer number in and you will get you a free 6 by 8 sketch right here of any character, single character that you want. And I'm just checking out all my reference for Dragon's Crown. I nail this here. Pope Flyer and Starfire got us. Hey! What's up? Pope Flyer and Starfire got us. Free sketch? Yes. We're doing free sketches here for you. If you want to back Dragon Guard or, you know, you check it out and you look at it and you say, hey, I really dig this, Kev, and you back it during the stream, I will give you a free sketch. And she and I were supposed to do a stream at some point. So when she's free... We'll do a live stream. I gotta get my stuff together when it comes to StreamYard and get my StreamYard and have a few people on the show. But Pofire's here. She peeked in. Let's see. Comicopolis. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, all right. Oh, wow. And Zombie Kebab says we are at 27306. Yeah, thank you, guys. Absolutely awesome. And if you get a chance, just like and share. If you're out there lurking, like and share. Uh, you want to see cool sketches? Hey, Megs, I'm trying to get her hair down. Um, is that about the right look for her, Mix, Just want to make sure. Roughly. Her hair is curly, but not too curly. It's kind of a little bit longer and straight and then goes down and is really curly. I hope I'm getting that right. Yeah. 
And we got a lot of people in. Thank you guys for coming in. 18. <coughs> there we go. Stupid sinuses. All right. Here we go. Jeremiah Jones says, I don't know what Kevin is drawing, but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is uh, a character called Amazon from Dragon's Crown. I guess it's a game, I'm assuming. Or a book, maybe. Well, I see Udon is attached to one of my references. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's a game, though, maybe. Or maybe it's just a comic. It could be that, too. And I thank everybody for coming in and checking us out on this Sunday evening. I know you guys could be doing other stuff, but it is roughly 8.30 on the East Coast. Uh, so I'm assuming it's about 5.30 on the West Coast. So I imagine a few things are winding down wherever you live and it's probably getting later and since it's a Sunday it's a good excuse for everybody to be closing shop really soon so our first backers uh, that I know of tonight we have Andrew J we have Migs we have Johnny I'm going to assume Johnny Fitz took Jeremiah Jones up on his offer. And my man, let's see, we have R2D2 for life. I'm glad to see you in here, buddy. Glad you joined us. She's got these big, hefty gloves. Very strong woman, she looks like. That axe is probably going to be the last thing I get in there, make sure I get everything worked out. Mark Anthony, Popeye, the Starfire guy, is she there? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think she stepped out just for a few seconds or a few minutes. And if you're listening, I've got a little bit of a cough because of some sinus stuff going on. Don't worry, it's not that, that dreaded thing. Fitz says consider it back. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, let's see, 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 see here. What are we looking at? Uh, Andrew J says, can you please do a sketch of Zitana? Yes, sir. 
All right, let me throw in, get the gloves right here. Goodness gracious. All righty. Man, you guys are generous. Thank you, guys. Everybody out there listening, I appreciate it. Okay, we got 15 in, 14 lurking, or 14 lights. I'm sorry. So here we go. I'm doing Miggs's character, or Miggs's Migs, uh, commission, free sketch, a character called Amazon from Dragon Crown. If you know the book or comic or uh, game that it's from, that is the character. So. All right. Throw in a few blacks. Make this metal on the axe look a little weathered, pock marks, or whatever you want to say. <clears throat> All righty. Sixteen people in, fifteen lights. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. You can see if you go in back dragon guard if you're listening right now if you're lurking go back dragon guard with the links in the description links in the description and if you back dragon guard and come back here drop your backer number in i will do the free sketches for you all for one character of your choice mostly a bus sketch but we're bending the rules a little bit for here for migs because migs is awesome Backer, along with uh, some of the other people that have been really, really kind and generous on the uh, on backing and supporting the book in other ways, promoting this and that. So we're giving them a little bit of a treat here. Migs is having a tough day, tough couple of days. Michael J. McCurdy. I backed it yesterday, just the digi digital version. Oh, okay. Well, um, here's the thing, Michael. Uh, we do these usually. We, we schedule them, and I try my best to leave a little time in there for people. Uh, but we like to schedule it, and what we do is we do it during the stream. So if you back during the stream, you can come back here. I tell you what, I had one other person. I don't know. I'm trying to remember who it was. But I had one more person ask about it, and I'll say this. If there's time after the actual backers during the show, I will go ahead and throw you in there, okay? Because I think I know one your name, or at least I have an idea. I know there, I got a couple of digital backers in a row yesterday, so I'm thinking I recognize you. Um, so I'll throw you in one, but I just have to get everybody that backs right now, so. But I'll hook you up. 
if you can, it, it would help if you could point me to your backer number. I don't want to do anything too unfair for everybody else that's coming in tonight. So if you can wait, we might be able to work that in for you. <coughs> Michael J. McCurdy, where's that cool music from your from in your Dragon Guard promo video? Um, that is actually um, one. It's some of the drums are sampled from a Zoom effects pedal. Uh, some of the drums are from. Uh, let me see. Some of the drums in it are from uh, Garage Band. It's a Mac program. It's a digital audio workshop in, uh, that comes with uh, a Mac. And then the guitars are me. Um, all the effects are GarageBand as well. So it's just basically me. I had some, you know, where if you post a lot of things on YouTube or whatever, you know, uh, a lot of times you can get copyright struck for something so i instead of I, they had some royalty free music on the program that i was editing with and none of it fit the tone of what i was doing so i went ahead and used my own <laughs> okay sorry if this was answered already but what was the tier you need to back for newcomers on the sketch um, I did. Hey, Migs, I did limit it originally to like sixty dollars, um, but I think for the last few streams, I'm just gonna just not do that. You know, we'll do it. I mean, if you want a digital, I'll honor the digital one too. You know, but I, for, you know, I'd, obviously I want you to look through the perks and go for that. I just I, I don't think the response was very good for limiting. Uh, eliminating it only to a certain price point. It didn't seem to go over too well from what I could tell. So it, it's okay. Michael J. McCurdy. Oh, thank you, man. It, it was completely just me goofing around and I had a little rinky-dink set up. It really wasn't anything major i had been experimenting with recording and things like that and i just I, I have several i may do one final video if i can find time to do another one but i have some other music that i did and if i can find something that fits i'm going to release one more promo video to try to build up a little because we're, we're coming in on 10 more days left now of the uh, campaign so i want to kind of get us there get the excitement going Jeremiah Jones says you got to back at least a, a page to your original art page to your if you want to sketch. Yeah, yeah, zombie kebab. Yeah, it was was bus sketches, but I got well. We're doing this for Migs. We'll try to keep these more bus sketches. That way they go faster. But I do get a I do get a little carried away sometimes. That's okay. My carried away is somebody else's gain. So you know. It is all good with me. Right. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Jeremiah Jones says he will send you the thing. Also, if you just did a now, just to clarify, because my uh, my niece did something similar to this. If you just donated, I don't know exactly if you did or not, but it's just something I got to remember. If you just donated, it will not give you a backer number. Okay. Um, just in case, just to let you guys know. Oh, thank you, Maids. All righty. <coughs> I'm looking for a little extra something, something to throw on it, real quick. See if I can find it. Let's see if they are in here. Yeah, there we go. Break out the COVID markers for the tattoo here. Juan Del Diablo has busted in here. Captain Hilts wants to know, will Miller's cover be a book choice for the original art tier? Uh, if I understand you correctly, um, well, just to clarify, Miller's art won't be in any, any of the original art tiers, but as a choice for a book to go for the tier, yeah, I think you can do that. Yes, I will do that. Thank you. Uh, Mark Anthony, yes, I do get a message. When somebody donates, it does show that. Okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, none of the other people, if I do a, you know, with the cover with other people, they, you know, they keep the covers themselves. Um, that's just how it works in the industry when you have the artist. Like, I don't know, for people who don't know, but when you're a Marvel or DC artist, what you're actually doing when you draw something is you're giving the companies permission to use your artwork, but the artwork isn't their possession. It's, it's a something i believe neil adams fought fought for from his uh days of working as a graphic artist uh or commercial artist working for a lot of different companies and they kind of insisted on that and for artists rights you know that kind of deal and anyway that's how it works um but uh i'm just gonna throw a little bit of extra oomph with the gray tone. So I don't physically have any of like, you know, Weldon's art or anything like that. I use a, they send us files and we go from there. So the only original art I'm selling is actually mine. Um, if that helps everybody figure it out, that kind of deal. But yes, you can choose. Uh, it'll be offered to come tomorrow. I'm hoping it'll be early tomorrow, but at some point tomorrow, I'll put up uh, Mike's cover as an option or add on. <coughs> okay. All 
ride. Let's see. Wait a minute, are they wings or are they feathers? I can't figure that out. And maybe you can help me out, Migs. Does she have a feather in her hair or is it a wing or is it wings? Some of the art seems a little vague on it. It's a black feather. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, she might have two black feathers. <laughs> if you could tell, I might have goofed. All right. I'll see if I can white out that other feather. Did Weldon put up the Aetherons or the other one? Yeah, yeah. He sent me, I think he sent me scans of both of those zombie kebabs. And he didn't put them up. I don't think he put them up publicly, but I think he, he sent me the files for those, if I can answer that. Weldon's very generous too, man. Uh, you guys show him some love when you can. Um, a lot of these guys were being really nice to be to help us out. We stick together and and you know try to do what we can to help each other out. And I was very surprised by the generosity. I wasn't I wasn't uh, expecting that from the guys. Funny story, I, I didn't even ask Weldon or Elliot to do a card because I figured those guys were busy. Also, I'm, you know, obviously I assume just like me or anybody else we want to get paid, you know. I mean, you know, you got family. I mean, there are days where I can do free stuff for, to help people out. But since I've become a dad, those days are further between. Um. And these guys still generously have helped us out. <coughs> I'll try to get that other feather out of there, mix. All right. I'm going to, for right now, until I can wipe that out, and we'll call this done for the moment. And I'm going to write it over here so it's clear, right, Migs? Um, all right, Amazon. Dragon Crown. All right, cool. There's your first sketch of the day. Woohoo! Hope our Starfire Goddess is back. Hey, hey, hey. We got 15 people in here. 18 likes. Share, like, and share, like, and share. Let your friends know about us. Tell all your friends about me. I'm not that bad. Um, <laughs> here my dudes for this freaking welding. All right, no problem. Thank you, Mix, dude. All as always, man. Um, we'll get that axe taken care of too. We'll just keep keep the train rolling for right now. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, so the next one we have here, I believe it was. Andrew J, I believe.
And Johnny Fitz, don't worry, dude. Uh, if you just contributed, um, I think we can we can do something for you. All right. So just be considering what you want. Let me know. Uh, Michael J. McCurdy, my uh, contribution ID is 430. If it works out, if you're able to do a sketch, then great. Uh, your main barbarian character. Oh, okay, Aetheron. Cool, cool. So, I believe we have a Zatanna to draw right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, Jeremiah Jones. Yep, there we go. Uh, Johnny Fitz, dude, it's any character you want. Any. I've had people ask me for Daredevil, Wolverine, uh, Evil Ernie, things like that. I mean, it, it's completely up to you. And we got 20 likes. Uh, we got 15 people in here. Some are look, maybe possibly lurking. If you're lurking out there, go look into the description. There is a link for my book, Dragon Guard. Go to Indiegogo. It'll, it'll take you to Indiegogo, my Dragon Guard page, and look through it. Check out the art, the story description. See if it's something you like. If you dig it, back us. Find a tier that you like. We have original artwork. Oh, yeah, there's another thing. We're going to add sketch cards. Come tomorrow, we're going to add a sketch cards perk. Or not a perk, but a add-on. So that when you get your order, you can choose to get a sketch card. If you want a sketch card. So you can add those on to your, to your perks when you make your final purchase. We're doing that tomorrow. Um, you know, uh, you can do those as add-ons. Um, so anyway, there we go. So if you're watching, go there, check out Dragon Guard. Come back here, drop your backer ID number, your backer number in the description, not your name, and not, don't dox yourself, but just drop, drop your... <laughs> your backer number in here and I will do a free sketch of a single character bus shot upper that means up you know torso upper torso head shot that kind of thing for all my backers and these are free Charlie say says Charlie Chase says I'm definitely doing that uh, add on thank you brother Emma Frost okay cool that's the second one I've got another okay we're gonna go <laughs> Andrew Day uh, wanted Zatanna, I believe. And then Jeremiah Jones says, and at Andrew Day, I can wait till the end. Okay, I'm sure. All right. I might have missed something in the chat, but that's all cool. Johnny Fitz. No, 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 no worries, buddy. Since you, um, since you have, uh, you donated, and I know that, um, you know, you don't, you don't have a physical item to ship out with, uh, for the sketch and stuff. What I'll do is I'll count you in with everybody else that does those that want them. And I will mail yours out directly right after the campaign ends. Okay. So just give me a, about 10 days and then we'll get you shipped out. Let's see here. The next one is so we got let's see. Oh, that's what it was, Jeremiah. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. What was the character that you wanted? Okay, Google. <laughs> Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, so we got a long shot. Let me write these down real quick. Uh, Andrew J., if you could just stick with me just for a second, I'm going to write some of these down. Um, and 
he wants a long shot. Now, there's a character you don't see much of. Or not enough of, anyway. Okay. And then I know Johnny Fitz. Hey. <coughs> Johnny Fitz, if you could... Uh, sh if you're on Twitter and you know me on Twitter, can you shoot me your your address? I don't know if they ask you for your address on donations. That would be my only question. So just hit me up. <laughs> and Bopar of the Starfire guy says, I will totally ask for a Starfire. I somehow figured that you might. Johnny Fitz wanted Emma Frost. Okay, boom. I'm just basically if you're catching catching me right now, I'm just lining up other people's sketches. Well, definitely, uh, Jeremiah Jones, let me know. Oh, yeah, it was the Baroness. That's right. You said something about that. So let me get that in here. And you get a star because you're special. And for some reason, my my iPad is not updating for some reason. So if you guys have been backing, let me just give my iPad a second here. But anyway. Um, Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, Johnny Fitz, here you go. I'm going to put this in here for you guys. Um, it's in the description, but I'll just put it right here. And it also helped if I could spell things without fat fingering the keys here. All right, there we go. Boom. Hit me up there, Johnny Fitz. You can send me your address there. That'll make it easier just in case Twitter is too much of a pain in the butt. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then I got to get poop fire. Starfire. All right, so everybody is taken care of so far, I think. And if I missed anybody, you're welcome to pipe in and say, hey, dude, what about me? So everybody out there, look, we got 19 now in here. We got 21 likes. Um, if you're just checking is checking in and checking it out, Captain Hiltz has got it into the chat right now. But I'll tell you, go check out the description. There's a link for Dragon Guard. It's a fantasy a uh, book based on kind of uh, homage to the 80s cartoons like He-Man, Thundercats, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, even early 90s stuff like Gargoyles and Battle Chasers. Battle Chasers is another great one. Um, if you dig that kind of stuff, then that's what Dragon Guard is kind of there for. So, um, so if you back the book, You'll get a backer number. You'll get an email and have a backer number. You'll say your backer number 415, 435, whatever you want to say. And you come back here, drop it into the chat. I'll check it. Make sure everything's legit. Not saying you're a liar, but we had a few people, you know, play fast and loose. And I check that. And then you get a free sketch of any one character you want. Oh, fire the starfire guys. So, oh, okay, I'm backing. All right, cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We got wonderful people in here tonight. We got a few of those people are our maids. Jeremiah Jones, Hope Fire the Starfire Goddess. We have Zombie Kebab. We have Johnny Fitz. We have Jeremiah Jones. And uh, 
if I missed anybody, like Blue Boy Hobbies or Neo Valentine. Oh, hello. I believe you had already had one, I believe. I need you, if I haven't gotten your address, I need you to send me your address because I'm almost sure you're one of the first ones. I had a couple of people that were someone for, on some of the first shows who I did not get an address for, for whatever reason. So, uh, feel free to hit me up because uh, Neil Valentine, didn't you do a, you got a Emma Frost, maybe? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Mark Anthony, Starfire, there you go. Cool, cool. Yes, you got Emma, Emma Frost. So that is there for you. Um, I can get that to you as soon as I get your address. Yes. Alrighty. So let me get on this one real quick. Uh, the next one was was Zaytana, and let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Got quite a few people in here now. All right. Star. Nope. Not Starfire. That's not the next one in order. Andrew J. There we go. Andrew J. Boom. Okay, let me look up just to double check my reference for Zaytana. Not that I think it's all that difficult, but I like checking. Okay, she's got like a little vest thingy going on here. Uh, Neo Valentine Discord DM, yeah, that's fine too. On uh, the Blacklist Universe DM, um, if you scroll, in, I tell you what, let me put it back in here. Here's my email as well that you could send it to. There you go. All right. We're just doing construction lines here, so don't freak out. She won't look as robotic as maybe the construction lines seem to make it. Sorry, I'm checking out my iPad just for a second.
Uh, thank you, Neil. Neil Valentine. Mig says need to get dinner going. Be right back. Yep. Be careful, Mig. Watch out for that hand. Got to heal up. There we go. Victor, the sketch is done. Next. Pope Fire and Starfire, guys. I'm hyped. Sorry I'm slow. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm just glad to have you around. We got 15 people in at the moment. We got 21 likes. Let's see if we can push that. Neil Valentine, I sent you the email. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Just looking at the chat. All righty. Let me get back to my reference for you real quick. The costume. Man. It all went away. Woo! Pin. Okay. You guys can see everything good. Camera set up good. All right. See what we got here. And Mark Anthony says he actually has a race today. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely got the eraser. Made sure I was a little little bit more prepared. Problem with those things, the only thing I have a problem with is I lose them all the time because they they tend to uh they tend to when they get hot or you get to use them and there's uh, they get warmed up or whatever. They can sometimes stick to things, and you pick something up, and if it's nearby, like a glass or something, sometimes they'll be stuck to it, and you'll end up losing them. They'll drop on the floor, or something will, they'll, you know, roll out, roll around in the floor, or you know, something will walk by, pick it up, a shoe, whatever, and uh. It is not fun. You tend to go 
can sometimes go through those things really fast. They're like, where the hell did it go? All right. Pupfire. Here she says, thanks for back to the dragon. Your contribution is 440. Sweet. smaller pin there we go so we've got a look <coughs> quite a few books on indiegogo give a little shout out to um my letterer for dragon guard is eric weathers and uh he has a book called battle Brick road that is out right now and it's burning up the charts um Let's see, who should, else should I give a shout out to? Uh, we'll, friends, Cal and uh, Rob Willis on Shinobi Sasquatch, who I love his artwork. And uh, Cal's a good, seems like a good guy. Um, who else can we give some shout outs to real quick? Who launched recently? Oh, man, I'm having a brain fart. Um, but there's tons of people on here. If, and if you haven't got a chance to, check out Elliot Fernandez's Doom Kicker. Um, I think he still have an in-demand store, maybe. Maybe I'm crazy. Johnny Fitz says, I'm back and finally done. All right, cool, man. Popefire says, can I add a jacket to my Starfire so she's not naked and I can hang her up? I'm assuming she meant hang her up. Yeah, 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 that's no problem. You got it, sir, Popefire. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You gave out your name? Hey, Mods, if she happened to do that, can you go and delete that for her if it's possible? Uh, I, I might have missed it while I'm drawing. I got my head down. So uh, if there's any information that Popefire needs to protect, if you can jump in there and delete that for her, that would be awesome. And then we'll be jumping into the next sketch here shortly. Man, the time is flying. 
I got to get my act together here. Oh, yeah, and somebody wanted Aetheron, too. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. I hope everybody out there is doing well. Thank you for hanging with me. We're looking at 18 people, 22 likes. You guys get in here. Uh, if you back Dragon Guard tonight, you get a free sketch. The link is in the description for you to go check it out on Indiegogo. If it's your type of book, look at the art. Or check it out. Kevin Sharp uh, worked uh, about 20, 25 years in the industry and um, great big comics fan of all sorts of comics, DC, Marvel, lots of different cartoons. On, but Dragon Guard is inspired by 80s cartoons. And if you check that out, um, I would hope you'd like it. And if you do, back it. You will be given a backer number. Unless you do a donation, then it doesn't give you a backer number. But um, backer numbers and uh, bring your backer number, post it in the chat. Then you get a sketch. We got a pretty full house already. Um, so you've only got like an hour or so before. Um, hour or so before we have to start limiting the sketches so I don't get bogged down, but I'll try to make everybody happy tonight if I can. Um, around 11 or so, I've got to pick my stepson up from work, so it's going to be, uh, you know, down to the wire when it gets, gets close to 11. We got Victor, we have Michael J. McCurdy, we have Neil Valentine, we have Miggs, we have Pokefire, we have Captain Hills, we have Mark Anthony, um, Jeremiah Jones, I'm sure, is lurking around here and there. Yep, Miggs is hanging around too. So we got a lot of people in tonight. We're at 20, 24 likes. That's great. Uh, like and share, like and share. If you want, if you guys are out there and you're lurking and you're trying to make up your mind, Please check out Dragon Guard on Indiegogo. The link is in the description. And also, it's been popping in, in the chat as well. And if you jump in, um, you check out Dragon Guard. If it's something you dig, back it. Um, once you back it, you'll be given a backer number. Come back here. And that's all you need to do. You get one character, bus sketch, your choice. Um, all you have to do is let me know what character you want and I will sketch it for you. Six by eight. You see it here roughly. Boom, boom, boom. There's my hand for reference. And, uh, that's all you got to do. Um, I also tell everybody who comes in here, the other rule is because we had a little bit of uh, issue with, uh, People gaming the system, so to speak. Um, all sketches will go out at the e end of the campaign from now on. Uh, that's, we've been doing that since last weekend, um, I think. And so just to make sure there isn't any funny business, all sketches will go back at the end of the campaign. Um, if you refund, then you're kind of ineligible for the sketches. I'm paying for, unless you, you know, there's a link in the description for PayPal. If you want to contribute some shipping, you guys are welcome to. That would be helpful, especially if I got to ship to the West Coast and I'm on the East Coast. 
but it's not mandatory and it's not required. It's just, uh, hey, if you feel like you want to, go ahead. My PayPal is in the description. Um, but that's neither here nor there. My point is, is that uh, you'll have to wait. You have two choices. You can wait till the end of the campaign or some people have suggested holding off and doing their sketches, uh, delivering their sketches with their actual uh, perks that they get when it ships out in October. So uh, that is completely up to you. Just let me know. <laughs> what are you, an idiot sandwich? Little Chef Ramsay joke there. I like it. An idiot sandwich. We're almost done with the tunnel. Put some fish nets on here. All right, I need to get me something to fill this out other than the good markers or the good brush pins. Of course, I'm not finding the other brush pins. All righty. Uh, did RG tease you about bringing you on his channel? I don't know, but I know I did mention it here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I will be. I'll mention it before, but I'll say it right now. I'll be on. RG's channel on Tuesday, hanging out, talking about Dragon Guard, trying to get get you guys in here, uh, get the book promoted a little bit. So yeah, he's going to have me on there, on there Tuesday, as far as I know of, unless something changes, which I don't foresee it. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good time. It won't be plagued by uh, people trying to troll me. Too bad this time. Not even people, it's just a hand, couple of people. Oh, uh, let me see. Um, Jeremiah Jones. Uh, RGE is Rage. Stands for Rage Golden Eagle. He has a book called Blade Devil. It's kind of a manga-inspired uh, fantasy book. It is um, very adult, I guess I would say. Uh, graphic violence, uh, nudity, things like that. But it's uh, kind of anime at least to me, it looks like it's anime inspired anyway. And uh, uh, he has a pretty big channel. He's uh, he reached out to me when I started the the uh, when I started the campaign, and he's you know fan of fantasy and whatnot. So I'm a fan of fantasy. So we all kind of um, we kind of meshed on that one. Although some of the language in there gets a little you know just. Not to turn anybody off, but just just give you a clue of what the content is like. Uh, it, it does get a little salty, a little bit of uh, adult. Um, but we're going to be on there just back in Dragon Guard and talking about stuff. So um, I had a gigantic, uh, a pretty big influx of backers talking with him and it was 
surprising. I mean, I, I, I had a good time. It was kind of out of blue. We did have a couple of people pop in wanting to start trouble with me because of whatever they think, you know, they wanted me to answer for who I blocked on Twitter or whatever and, you know, stupid stuff like that. So, Mark Anthony says, I mean, we troll Mike all the time. Might as well extend the offer. I might have missed something in the conversation. Mac, Mike is always welcome here, although my problem is that I don't have StreamYard, so I can't really hook anybody up for the show just yet, and I need to fix that. I'll get StreamYard on here as soon as I can. We'll be going on to the next sketch here shortly. Oh, fantastic. Oh, another backer. Awesome. Very cool. Brian says, Brian. Okay, well, I don't recognize your screen name, so I'm going to say, hey, Brian, thank you for coming in. Have you gone on Chi's crowdfunding show? I would like to. Uh, it's just a matter of catching them to ask them. I, I guess I should probably be a little bit more aggressive about it, but yeah. Uh, Victor says they want to cancel you because you're capable of producing a cool-looking guy. You know, Victor, I think some of it is a little bit of one of those kind of things where, uh, how do I say this without sounding arrogant or anything, but, but just kind of put it in the proper context. I think some of these people are angry because I'm a you know, former Marvel guy, former DC guy, and I think that we had a decent first day to our campaign, and I think that just lit them up because of whatever stupid stupidity. Uh, was going on um, and then finally I reached a kind of point where I said well you know I don't answer to a nuclear orange Cheeto so I'm not gonna you know deal with that kind of stupidity and um, you know I have plenty of free you know one of the things is like hey hey you blocked so many of so-and-so and I won't get into much here but you know they don't know who I block I barely blocked anybody on Twitter, but the few people that I have have usually had a decent reason for it. But who I blocked is my business. I mean, you know. But for some reason, they felt, you know, they did, basically, here's the long and short of it. I did Antonio Bryce's stream, and then they came in and tried to attack me on there. And then I did a RGE stream, and they went on there and tried to attack me on there. And um, it was stupid. It was just kind of stupidity. Block Pirate says block them, whoever you want, f them. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm like that. I'm like I'm like that big time. All righty. Okay. And uh, um, Andrew J, I'm gonna jump over to the next one because I'm gonna take some white out to a couple of little places. You know, to kind of create like these little white spaces and stuff. Um, but don't get distressed. I am going to finish her up for you. There's a few extra little effects I want to add to it. I'll give you the. I'll give you an example real quick. Hopefully, I can do this and it will. Uh, go crazy, won't be any black or white splotches. But just basically little stuff like, uh, there we go. Well, eventually it'll come out. There we go. We got it started. But basically putting in just the little, little wrinkles in her coat because it's all solid black. You just give it a slight touch.
Brian says, you should, Kevin. Everyone from all over going, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I will definitely hit Tucci up. I, I don't know if it'll work out, but if it does, cool. Um, I've never really formally met Billy, um, so I always feel awkward. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel awkward because I never actually, you know. Roscoe Davis is in here. All right. So I'll definitely get this. Andrew J., I'll get this really spiffy for you, but I just wanted to give you an idea. I'll just add a little wrinkled touches and things like that. But we, for the most part, here's our Zatanna. And then we're going to run to the next one. Now, let's see. Who else? For those who didn't see, this is uh, Amazon from Dragon, or no, or uh, Dragon's Crown. There we go. Dragon's Crown. There we go. All righty. Now, but Brian, it's a good, it's a good suggestion. I've been, it's been in the back of my mind. Um. So let's see who Johnny Fitz, I believe, was next in line. It's either Google or Johnny Fitz. So we'll go with Emma Frost. I know, uh, and Jeremiah Jones. I owe Jeremiah Jones from the other night. So. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. He's a, like, yeah, I, I have nothing against Billy. I'm just only saying that. Uh, I've never met him, so it's like weird coming up there and like, why don't you have me on my on your show? <laughs> I mean, of course, I imagine it's the same thing. You know, Rage Golden Eagle DM me and just like, hey, you want to come on my show? And I was like, sure, man. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. All righty, Emma Frost. Let me look up. Is there any? Johnny Fitz, is there any particular costume or it's going to just free to do whatever? Um, let's see. We'll look up the cross. Jeremiah Jones. Okay, I don't know if Johnny Pitts is still in here, but I will go ahead and I'll take my best guess on Emma Frost. We'll go with, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, there you are. All right. Uh, uh, let me see. Roscoe Davis says, you are a sketching machine. Will you be doing early backer tier sketches at the end of the campaign? Uh, early tier sketches, let me think about that. I'm sure I can probably put aside some days to do it. I was thinking about doing it towards the end of the campaign after I've done the pages. My focus is to get everything out of the way and just do the rest of the pages I need to draw because I've got at least half of the book or more to draw because we added pages for the um, for the first sketchbook goal. We added a uh, or stretch goal. Sorry, we added pages to the end of the stretch goal. So I want to focus on getting the artwork done. Um, Uh, Victor, do you think RG's comic that style is exactly what he wanted or had to settle with? Or I, uh, I think he's a fan of anime. So, I mean, I draw drastically different from anime, as you can tell. Um, so, uh, I think those are fans of kind of an anime style. Um, if that helps explain it, I, I don't want to jump into it. I don't want to second guess anybody. It'd be kind of rude on my part to do that. So, my guess is. You know, I just, he does a book. He's 
insanely successful with it. If you look at his, uh, I mean, you know, he managed to do really, really, really well. Um, and Johnny Fitz, I was just going to ask you, what version of Emma's costume do you enjoy before I started drawing it, you know, or before I put the final touches down? So if you would just want to let me know if there's any particular one, I'm going to start just drawing her classic Hellfire Hellfire uh, Club uh, get up, you know, her costume from there. And if you disagree and if you want something different, just let me know as I'm drawing it. I can always correct it until I start inking it. Johnny Fitz, was there a question? Yeah, yeah, that was it. I just wanted to know which version of Emma you would like me to draw which version of her costume so right now i'm just kind of putting down the classic hellfire club uniform unless you tell me otherwise like do you want the new x-men one where she's got like the negative space x that's on her on her breast basically <laughs> yeah okay the hellfire club all right cool man Okay, so I'm gonna get Emma in here. Boom, boom, boom. And you guys are watching. You guys can see it pretty good. All right, moving the camera a little bit. So yeah, if uh, you haven't heard before, we're here doing free sketches for backers. We got 25 likes so far. You can like and share, like and share if you're in here. If you're lurking, go check out uh, the link in the description and possibly in the chat right now. I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, Check out Dragon Guard. It's a fantasy comic that I'm doing through Indiegogo. Uh, the easiest way to describe it is it's an homage to your classic 80s cartoons like He-Man, Thundercats, uh, like uh, Conan, Dungeons and Dragons, um, uh, cartoons like that. I'm, uh, but with a modern flair or kind of a dynamic, more 90s comic flair. Um, I'm just trying to draw the best book I can for you. I mean, I hope that you check it out and you'll like the art. Uh, it's the best art of my career. Um, I really, really want you to, to enjoy it. So, uh, check it out. Um, if you dig it and you back it, come back here. You'll get an email when you back it with a backer number, drop your backer number in the chat. And that's all you have to do. As soon as I confirm it, you can tell me what character you want, and I will draw it for you. And if I don't happen to get to you tonight, if you do it within the time and you get to me tonight, uh, I'll write your name down, and we'll definitely get it done for you, okay? Um, I send out all the sketches after. We've changed the rules just slightly. We're going to – I send out all the sketches after the campaign ends, which will be like in 10, 10 days or so. And if you happen to not get me tonight, also, I will do at least there's at least one more guaranteed free sketches for backers stream. Uh, the news of the night is, is that we'll have a tier for sketch cards or not sketch cards, but uh, uh, trading cards. Uh, and those will be done by if we get to it, it's 20 at the 20, we've uh, 29,000 mark. For our stretch goal. So once we get to twenty nine thousand, I'll print up trading cards uh, for you guys. And the other news is for sketch cards. I will be adding uh, a sketch card add-on perk when you go to buy uh, any copies of Dragon Guard. You will be able to get a sketch card added if you would like. Um, so that's the other news I'm adding to it, and then. The other other news is that there will be an alternate cover by Mike Miller, 
who's already drawn it, shown it around. I'll show it around some more. But we've got some fabulous artists in these trading card tier. We've got myself, um, uh, Brad Ashworth. We have Siege. We have Matt Cosson. We have um, who else? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Eric Needletowski. And they're, most of the cards are colored by my, my buddy here. Uh, his name is uh, Frank Quanzo, and he does amazing colors. And I've posted that before, but I will post some new colors for you guys probably tomorrow or Tuesday, one or the other. Just depends on how fast I can get to it. All right. So we sketched out. Yeah, Brad did a wonderful job. Yep. Johnny Fitz said, I may color this myself. Thanks for doing this. No problem, buddy. Thank you for backing. Oh, cool, Mark Anthony. I got to see what you come up with, buddy. Sweet. So anyway, if you're listening, go back Dragon Guard if you get a chance to. I'll be here tonight for at least another hour and a half. Before I have to get my stepson from work. Um, all right. Now we have Emma Frost as our sketch we're doing tonight. sure I get her classic bustier properly drawn. Roscoe Davis says back Dragon Guard. Do it. <laughs> I can't do it as well as uh, Mike can, but there, there we go. Do it. Got that sketched out. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. In her original outfit, she had kind of this this collar to her cape, something kind of. I can't forget that. Boom, boom. Here we go. We're gonna add some inks here. Diamond choker or something like that in here. And let's see what we got here. Jeremiah Jones says 410 backers at 27,398. Oh, wow. Great. Let's get to 30K. Yeah, let's go to 30K. Um, Backer Tracker is suggesting that I'd be roughly, my average would be 34. I'd like to do that. I don't know if we can do it, but we're going to try. I'm going to add some more uh, add-on perks, and let's see what we can get the excitement going. Another add-on perk. I'm going to see if I can get it drawn this week. Hopefully in the next couple of days. I've got other commitments, but uh, in the next couple of days, I'm thinking about adding a print of uh, the females of the comic Dragon Guard, and that would be Elita and Felina, the fairy witch. So I'm thinking about doing an add-on print of some kind. Maybe not a metal print, but because uh, those tend to get a little bit expensive, but uh, like a comic size print maybe or... Something like that. I may add it in the goal line for like a, a special perk for all you backers already or something. We'll figure it out. I'll take suggestions.
Yeah, yeah, we have uh, uh, Google A says, have you ever watched the Death Stalker movies? No, I have not, sir. Are they good? Man, I have not had a lot of time lately. I've got to get caught up on a few things. Trying to be creative, man. I will tell you, that's the hardest. It seems to be the hardest thing about these, uh, doing these campaigns so far that I've seen, is being creative and figuring out perks. And everybody wants me to, or at least, I should probably rephrase it. I've been, it's been recommended that I keep everything simple on my first go. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create perks that are simple, easy to get done, not too expensive to print and just do things that are creatively fun. And it's been difficult thinking of fresh ways to do that. One of the ones I was going to do, and I, I wish, I wish I had, had a little extra money to go ahead and print them up right now so I could show people. But I was thinking about doing, since everybody had these sort shortages, there's a site that does custom uh, toilet paper. So I was thinking about offering a custom toilet paper perk. So if you cannot find toilet paper at your store, you can get some Dragon Guard toilet paper. <laughs> yes, Mark Anthony says, need to get to 35K. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd, Actually, I'd love to even push it even more, but I know that, you know, for whatever reasons, it's harder to to push through for those those higher figures, and that's okay. I want to I want to do a modest campaign. I want to, in terms of it, be something I can handle first and give you guys the best stuff I can, and then hopefully build up to something bigger. Um. But it's nice. It's nice to see there's a response because I've been working in the industry for 24, 25 years, uh, in in terms of the pro level, and I've never been the big money guy. So you know, it's kind of nice to have the campaign do really well and be able to afford, you know. Uh, to be able to draw these pages, sit home and draw the, the, the stuff that I want to draw as opposed to the stuff that I have to draw. If you catch, catch my meaning about working in the big leagues, you know, so um, it'd be nice to do that. It'd be nice to draw things that play to my strengths. That's a better way of saying it and draw something that plays to my strengths. JK. Hey, JK. I don't know who, who you are, but it's nice to see you in here. Um, this should this channel should have 10,000 minimum subs. I will lobby to change that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, JK, man. I we appreciate it, dude. It's a nice sentiment. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Part of the reason my sub count isn't huge, you know, I like to think my night art is nice. You know, people that stick with me tend to think so, but um. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a YouTube guy. Uh, when my daughter watches YouTube and stuff like that, it it drives me up a wall. There's all, so much screaming and a lot of these loud in-your-face channels and things like that. And I just go, man, that's that's grating. So I don't know if I my level of chatting or whatever is enough to entertain people for 10,000 subs, but I, dude, I would, I would appreciate it. That would be a great thing. You know, when am I, when I get back into a situation where my guitar playing is better, maybe I can, we could have a guitar, you know, a music night, uh, on this on the channel too we'll see how many people i can either drive off or have come to the, sh the channel jk says if this first campaign does even modest the next will explode because the art is fantastic dude very kind of you man thank you so much google says first one doesn't know 
it's bad, but the sequel does. Really great at the same time, though. Oh, okay, I know the Dragon Stalkers. Really great at the same time. It's like a Vallejo painting come to life down to the gratuitous nudity. Oh, okay, cool, man. Were those some of the 80s kind of fantasy movies? Because there was there was a uh, sort of a rush of those kind of movies like Beastmaster and things like that. Right after Conan, there was a big, you know, a big rush of these fantasy type movies. Uh, was it Crawl or, you know, there's a few others. Um, there's Willow, can't forget that. Um <laughs> Roscoe Davis says, come for the arc, stay for the groovy green guitar. Yeah, I love that guitar. It needs some love. It needs some love itself because I'm not a luthier or, or somebody who can, or anybody who can work on them. And I, I'm pretty sure mine needs a little bit of adjusting and like the truss rod and uh, the intonation in it and things like that. But it's it's my, I'm absolutely in love with the, that guitar. Um just that's been one of the best things that i've ever bought there's only been a couple of guitars where i've where i've went see we're gonna go to talk guitar nerd speak here so if i bore you i apologize but uh yeah um i've owned uh an eddie van halen uh the the pv uh guitars that he had the signature guitars that he had that guitar was it was a purple one and it was freaking amazing it was the, the pickup sounded great uh it just had a character to itself that i really loved it was no this was one of those few times where you buy an artist sig, uh, signature guitar and it's not any bs it's not just crap rushed out to make a buck you know um i honestly think eddie was very um control oriented and the quality control and stuff i think he really cared about that so I highly recommend if you can ever pick up a PV Eddie Van Halen model, uh, great guitar. And um, I'm trying to think one of the other guitars that are really, you know, I've, I've had a few Epiphones, but the quality is never, I've always had something break on my Epiphones, uh, my Epiphone Les Paul models. And I've only owned one actual Gibson Les Paul in my lifetime, and that was a, uh, Les Paul, um, uh, a wine red colored Les Paul studio. And if you wanted to know what it looked like, it's the exact same. It's the exact same, at least the finish and hardware. It's the exact same type of guitar that was shown in the uh, Allison Chains video for wood. Uh, so if you go check that out, you'll have a good idea of what that is. One of the few times that I've had a really decent guitar, you know, <laughs> and then I had to pawn that because, you know, young and stupid, um, needed cash, that kind of deal. <laughs> Zombie kebab. I'll stop that now. That's a figure of speech. It's like, when people talk about their cars and things like that and they give it a gender, don't don't do that. They'll get to believe in you. My daughter and my fiance are my girls. It's just a guitar, figure of speech. But yeah, the, the one mistake in my life was getting rid of that Eddie Van Halen guitar because that was, that's one of those few times where you buy something and it's a signature guitar and the quality is there, you know, it just, you get what you paid for. I mean, because if you're even remotely familiar with uh, prices of some guitars, um, like Gibson signature guitars or Gibson custom shop guitars 
those things are the price of a freaking new car, basically. Um, those things run anywhere around like five to ten to you know twelve thousand dollars, you know. Uh, and it's like I don't know how you can justify buying something of that expense, you know, as a production model guitar, you know. <laughs> so. I mean, it gets crazy. If you know anything about it, it gets crazy. That's my point. Um, Roscoe Davis says, I have some great acoustics. Yeah, I had a few good, few acoustics myself. Roscoe Davis, will the guitar keep you warm at night? No, no, it will not. But I do look at them as kind of like works of art. I can look at a guitar, and depending on the finish and the the quality of it and stuff, I'll look at a guitar and see it. It'll be just as exciting as seeing, you know, for me, it's just as uh, the same feeling I get when I check out a... Um, uh, a Dale Keown piece or a John Byrne original or, you know, whatever. I still get that. I, I look at them as art and, uh, you know, that's how I, you know, I, I kind of see them in my head. You know, that's what I appreciate them for what they look like, the aesthetics and stuff. And, uh, That's just a personal thing, you know. Okay, so Johnny Fitz, I'm 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 guessing you're cool with my uh, with my uh, Emma Frost, right? Mark Anthony, watch out for your guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. I hope it will. Anyway. All right. Hey, Johnny, Johnny Fitz, I'm trying to give her kind of a unique quality. So, um, Make her pretty, but not a carbon stock, you know, face that, you know, I would just draw, you know, trying to give her something unique, okay? So, hopefully you dig it. Hopefully you dig it. There we go. There we go. And as always, i got to remember to sign the drawing. Sign, sign, sign. Give this collar a little bit of a fur te texture, a little short fur kind of texture. Hey, Johnny Fitz. Oh, yeah. Thank you, buddy. Give a shout out to Jeremiah Jones. I think Jeremiah Jones might have helped with that, maybe. So everybody out there, give a thank you to Jeremiah Jones as well. Anybody out there, we're looking at 16 people watching and 25 people liking. Let's get that up. We can do it. All right. And guys, real quick, I'm going to take just a second here. In the, and uh, I've got to run. I've got the call of nature from my coffee. Need to take care of that. Just for a second, so you guys can talk amongst yourselves. I hope this doesn't bother you. The stream's running, but uh, it shouldn't take too long.
Johnny Pitts has 18 like 29. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I wasn't trying to imply anything. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I meant, I meant everybody in the chat. Thank everybody in the chat. Thank you, Aaron Mondros. Mig says, that's hot. Wow. Thank you. All righty. Oh, so that's the next one. Okay, now who was it in, in order? I know I have. Oh, yeah, we have long shot. I know, yeah, Google. A, yeah, I think he was next. Let me start. I need to make a note of. Uh, let's see. Somebody wanted. Somebody had Aetheron. I'm trying to remember. If you're in the chat, let me know. I might have missed you by accident. And so, if you're watching, whoever got Aetheron, let me know so I don't miss you. Okay. Um, I'll write down Aetheron's name and wait for my people to catch up. And then I need to find my pencil because I think it fell on the floor. Yep. Hello, that's my head. Okay. All right, we're going to write A. Theron. And if you're listening to me, just let me know. I'll be right back. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Zombie Kebab can talk about how much of all. Uh. A horrible guitar player I am or whatever you want to say okay be right back give me a few minutes I'm sorry couldn't wait I apologize I am back. I am back. I am back. Let's get this train rolling. Mark Anthony says, I'm working on the Behemoth or sketch cards. Sweet. Worked on an Aerith a little bit the other day. Awesome, dude. Hope says, what did I miss? Nothing much, really. I'm just... <laughs> 
I had to take a uh, a restroom break real quick. Coffee, coffee was getting to me. Jeremiah Jones says, we missed you, Kevin. All right, cool. Uh, all right, we're talking about color and everything else. Okay. All right. Now, in order, I think, uh, let me see. Google said he wanted a long shot. So I'm going to do a long shot. I think Google was right before... Uh, Hope fire, yes. And then we have Jeremiah Jones. So we keep going. Everybody's checked in. We got seven people, seventeen people watching. Twenty six like, like it, share, like it, share if you can. Um, what's a long shot? A <laughs> uh, long shot is that X Men character, uh, Hope fire. In case you don't know, I'm guessing you're joking. But uh, yes, yes, we're one one away from Hope fires. That is if Jeremiah Jones is still of the mind to let the people go before him. You let me know, Jeremiah Jones. But Jeremiah Jones has a baroness from the other night. Uh, Friday night auctions, maybe, or might have been something else. All right. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Make sure I double check my reference for long shot. Basically, I'm just looking up reference. I know roughly what he looks like. It's just I'm not sure what side of the jacket that star emblem he has. Which look is really weird. It looks like the Nova star that's on the costume, too. So there isn't a lot of differentiation. Okay, and if you're out there watching, listening, whatever, back Dragon Guard, back Dragon Guard. Um, our next stretch goal is 29k, and that would be for a free card set for everybody of our drawn and quartered. It's kind of the drawn and quartered themed uh, card set for Dragon Guard, and it's um, if you back us, we got awesome things like uh, original art perks. And I know the camera is going funny, so let's put some artwork here and see if it. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, it does not like blank white paper. I know most of us don't like blank white paper. We want something drawn on it, but um, there we go. Hopefully, we'll help the the camera focus. And uh, if you're watching, check in the description or in the chat. We that links in there. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Anyway, back Dragon Guard. Um, the link is in the description. The link is also in the chat. If you go there, check it out. Dragon Guard is my fantasy comic on Indiegogo. If you love 80s fantasy, if you love cartoons like uh, Thundercats, He-Man, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, um, Sectars, Conan, all kinds of great stuff. It's inspired by that. And... Um, Check it out. If you back it, come back here in the chat. Drop your backer number in the chat. It's as simple as that. And you will get a free sketch. You just tell me what character you want. One character, and it's kind of a bust sketch, roughly like what you see here with Emma Frost. So any character you want. It doesn't have to be my characters. It can be uh, any characters you like, as long as I can get a reference for them and a long... And there really isn't any nudity or anything I can get struck for. Uh, we will be good. All right, there we go. That's Johnny Fitz is just noodling on that for a second. All right, long shot. Our next one is a long shot. Okay, cool. Um, 
them. Let's see. You got a lot of characters with a lot of black in their costume. <laughs> I got to figure out something. Okay. Heck, I'm almost doing a full body sketch again. All right, let's see. Put one of those daggers. He's throwing one of those daggers there. I think he only has like two or three fingers, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Two or three fingers on a long shot. He's kind of a pretty boy. All the chicks love him. All right. At least all the X-Men chicks love him. Okay, we'll say that. Okay, dude, I got to head out. Going to watch some anime and turn in. Thanks again for the Emma Frost. Hey, thank you, man. Glad you came in and checked this out. Hung out with us. Trusty sidekick is here. Juan del Diablo. Migs, everybody's here. 19 people watching. If you haven't already, like and share, like and share. Tonight is a great night for getting a free sketch. Um, I'm going to be in until about 11 or so. Um, if you back tonight and you're backing during the stream and for some reason I can't get to you, uh, basically I've got to leave roughly around 11 Unless something changes, but roughly around 11, I'll have to go out and pick up my, uh, my stepson from work. So it's going to be a little difficult to keep drawing after that point. But I will definitely write your name down and get you going, okay? So even if you back during the stream and I can't get to you, you will be listed. And I'll try to post those on Twitter when I get to it, too. So have no fear. But check out Dragon Guard. That's what we're here for. We've only got 10 days left. And I want to see this get well beyond the 29K mark, the 29,000 mark. Because once we get to 29,000, you get it, all backers. We'll get a card set. So you guys will be able to get a card set drawn and quartered featuring Siege, featuring... Matt Cosson featuring Eric Nienoltowski, who has the book Shadow Century. I think, dang, I forgot about that. I have uh, to go check out Shadow Century. He's got it, I think, maybe in demand. And it's got a cover by myself. So you can also get that perk of his, where you can get a Kevin Sharp cover if you dig it. But it also has Matt Weldon and Mike Miller. And I'm trying to think of who the other cover is by I'm having a brain fart. Um, I know Eric's doing one of the covers, being that he's the creator of Shadow Century. But uh, lots of great books out there. The shout out to like Shinobi Sasquatch. Shout out to, uh, let me see. Um, gosh, man. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. Everybody's been so nice to me. And I'm Drawing a blank at the moment. All righty. Yeah, it's got a collar. Also, it's intimidating drawing a long shot since he kind of came became popular because of uh, Arthur Adams drawing that mini series and just getting this character right. Boom. Oh, good night, J Michael J. Cure Cure, and thanks for being here. Oh, Michael Love had to leave. Oh, okay. Good night to you, man. If you didn't hear me, I'm right here. 
I have my head down, drawing. Michael J. McCurdy, you got to go to bed. I requested Aetheron. That's what it was. That's what it was. Let me write you down. Give me just a second here. I'm going to jump in here and write Michael's name down. Okay. There we go. I've got you in there. I've written you down, Michael J. McCurdy. I apologize for not remembering. Yeah, there's quite a few of those guys. Roscoe Davis, I'm glad you said something. There's a few other people that I've wanted to get to. Um, at least to try to say something, you know, give a little little shout out if I can. My channel is not the biggest, but we're, we'll work on that. Um, 18 people in here, 26 likes. And if you're catching us, we're doing uh, free sketches for backers of Dragon Guard tonight. What you're seeing here, we're doing free sketches and you can get in on the action. All you have to do is go back Dragon Guard tonight, come back here. When you back Dragon Guard, you'll get an email with a backer number. Post your backer number in here, and then you get to choose any character. It doesn't have to be my characters. It can be anybody. We had a night of, of Burt's. We had a Burt Reynolds and a Burt Gummer from Tremors. Uh, we had a night of Final Fantasy. Everybody seemed to be leaning towards stuff like that, so we did that. Mig says, I thought Longshot was a fun character and was when he was introduced and liked Dazzler and him as a couple. Yeah, man. That's the thing. I, just, I don't understand why they didn't do anything with him. He wasn't my favorite character, but he was likable enough. He was he made a fun part of the X-Men team. I just I don't know why he kind of dropped off as an X-Men character. Um, pretty entertaining character to have on the team. It kind of broke up some of the dynamic a little bit. Um, with his luck powers and the fact that he's pretty, pretty naive, kind of in, an innocent character, and uh, made for fun stuff. It only seemed like uh, Chris Claremont wanted to write him, I guess. Not a lot of other writers seem to have jumped on the bandwagon. Bandolier pouch thingy for his knives. He has these little throwing knives that he uses, and he always hits when he throws them at because of luck. I'm going to change up his star just a little bit to make it a little less Nova. Slightly add a round shape to it, break it up a little bit. Victor, uh, I get what you're saying. I'm just not going to comment on it right now. <laughs> I think Migs is correct. Is Shatterstar one of his race, I believe? Am I crazy? Or maybe I'm, I'm missing something. Or maybe I'm just mixing it up. I could be doing that.
<laughs> laughing at Jeremiah Jones. Degenerates. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Then we'll be off to the next sketch. What would it be? Pope Fire, the Starfire Goddess. We'll get her taken care of. I'm going with the classic mullet right here. Hopefully that's okay. Roscoe Davis says I gotta leave y'all with it. Have fun, back Dragon Guard. Oh, you're checking out Roscoe. Good seeing you, buddy. Glad to have you on the show. If you meant that you were leaving. Unless I stuck my foot in my mouth. Alright. We got 16 people watching. Like a share, like a share, like a share. We got some fun stuff coming up. We got sketch cards as a perk next week, possibly tomorrow. It'll be soon, though, because we got 10 days left on the campaign, and I want to make sure that I give you enough cool options as possible. And we may have a print of, of the two main ladies from the book, uh, Elita and Felina, the fairy goddess. One good, one evil. There's been a few people asking for prints of the ladies or something, something cool with the lady characters, and I will do my best to oblige. Get that out there for you. Looking at you, Jeremiah Jones. Jeremiah says, if you had a, ever had a character with a mullet, you are obliged to draw that version. I'm thinking really lone, I don't know, not lone, long, long shot was where we got the characters. Really, I think he might have been the proto uh, character with the pouches that inspired everybody um, or might have inspired. I know a lot of people were inspired by Arthur Adams. There's a lot of people I hadn't seen a style like art, really bold and energetic and um, inspired a lot of people like Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, and all that. So I wonder if maybe Longshot inspired some of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to give him kind of a whimsical look to his face. Longshot was kind of written as one of these characters that ever the women thought were cute. If you're not familiar with him, women thought he was cute, and he really didn't. He wasn't really a lot going on upstairs. He wasn't necessarily the brightest bulb. 
It's kind of like a lot of Ben Stiller characters that were, if he had a mullet, it'd be kind of like that. Yeah, Pokefire, I'm definitely going to be doing yours next. So we're getting pretty close. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get everybody in, but I'm looking like I'm getting close to it before I have to call on a night. Okay. Pets for Life says, Kevin, I know you're streaming, but I want to send you a pic on Twitter before you get your first impression before it gets posted. Zombie because Bob says, yeah, don't forget. Yep, yep. I'm telling everybody right now that we should. I'm going to have to wrap it up right around 11. Zombie Kebab. I'm hoping that's a good time. Hey, Mutt Man. Is Mutt Man in here? Yes. Mutt Man, we are doing another live uh, free sketches for backers kind of night. And Brad Ashworth, I am going in and checking really quick. I don't have a lot of time right at the moment, but I will check it right now. Check my messages. Hey, Brad. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, Brad. That way we can... Uh, I'll check it out. So we'll keep drawing. Um, let's see. What was I going to say? Yeah, uh, Pokefire, I know you had mentioned something just a second ago. Um, was there a specific jacket? I know it was in the chat anyway. Was there a specific jacket you wanted for her? I know you wanted to keep it from being too risque or something. Maybe. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But, yeah, let, let me know in the chat. Just put a little Robin R on it. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so so you do want a jacket on it. Is there a specific costume? Do you like the George Perez, the classic one, or uh, the more modern one that's kind of all, I don't know, the purple and silver bathing suit kind of deal? I, forgive me for the description. I'm just trying to get a basic idea. Using general terms. Mutt Man and then Trusty Psychic. So we got a few people in here. We're still at 19. We got a good night going for for a Sunday here. And as always, uh, check out the link in the description or in the chat for Dragon Guard. Dragon Guard is a fantasy comic book that's an homage to some of the like your favorite 80s cartoons. A little bit of Gargoyles. Um he-Man, Thundercat. I know Gargoyles isn't, wasn't specifically 80s, but it was at the tail end of the 80s. Um, or at, the, you know, early 90s. But anyway, it's inspired by those type of cartoons. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, things like that. And it's stuff that I that plays to my strengths a little bit. The Barbarians and whatnot. Um, so, anyway...
So if you go check that out and back Dragon Guard and then come back, you'll get a, a backward number in your email. Just drop that backward number in. Let me check it. And then I will draw you any character you want for free. It's a free sketches night. Only thing I ask is if you're able to, if you're, if it's possible, if you uh, happen to live in another country or you're on the East Coast, I mean on the West Coast, then uh, if you could drop something for shipping, that would be appreciated. Otherwise, it's free. There's no no mandatory shipping or anything like that. Um, but if you can help out, that would be awesome. Hope you guys can see it. There we go. Mutton Man says, Kevin Sharp, congrats on the 27K campaign. It's smoking. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. And I thank you for coming into the stream. We need as many people in the stream as we possibly can. And if you're coming in, can you like and share? Do a little like and share for me uh, to kind of help get the word out. So all you have to do is drop that uh, backer number in here, and I'll get you taken care of. And Brad Ashworth, Pencil for Life, looking good, dude. Looking good, my man. Um, we can do that, you know. So if that's what you want to run with, I will. I will definitely take you up on it. Okay. Cool. Zach did a wonderful job. Zach did a wonderful job, man. Yeah, some people, <clears throat> if I can explain the aesthetic real quick, um, with Dragon Guard, uh, my color Alonzo, who I really loves his stuff, his stuff evokes kind of, there's a color how, it's the best thing I can do compare it to so when i keep mentioning this just understand that's the best thing i can kind of relate to you how i see it um but a lot of this stuff reminds me of uh color houses like hi-fi and uh when liquid was coloring stuff who i really loved and they they colored a lot of joe mad stuff on x-men and a lot of x-men stuff in general um they also colored uh battle chasers if you ever get a chance to, to read that um and I'm a real big fan of that because that kind of look, because um, I think it's bright and vibrant. Nowadays, a lot of people are being very painterly or very, you know, the color aesthetic has been has a certain style in modern comics that reminds me in a roundabout way of how comics were like with gold key and things like that when it had painted covers and stuff. Everything's kind of. You know cyclical and everything kind of runs back around and so we've got these more painted colors and they're they're lovely but the one thing i want to do is kind of get kids attention you know and so i want the stuff to be a little brighter and vibrant and and whatnot and so that's my aesthetic that's my thought when it comes to dragon guard i know that the adults are backing these campaigns not the kids but i'm hoping that some of these adults who are comic fans will sit down and they'll be checking out their book and their kids might see it and maybe like that because we need more comic readers and it would probably help to try to get kids attention um that's what i'd like to do maybe it's a pipe dream maybe video games have taken over and we really can't capture kids attention or their sense of wonder anymore because you know you've got video games which are moving you know 
you know, they're, they're animated storytelling and you can control it. And, you know, so, so that's what we're up against with comics, but I would like to get more kids into comics. And so that's why I choose the colors and the color just for all you guys out there with something to talk about, you know, Victor at Joe Matara did the Messiah complex anime looking stuff. I didn't like that, but I like his, I like his dark side as well. Yeah. Joe, has evolved you know he's been working in the industry for a long time so some of his his older stuff i mean i didn't read messiah complex or i'm not familiar with the story but um i know J joe did age of apocalypse um the original thing he was around that time he was the x-men artist and he, you know he's got an anime kind of cartoony style not cartoon, but you know, animated, anime influence, but you know, and he's got a fantastic sense of action. Um, and so his colorist, the guys coloring him at the time, I just really love their stuff. So that's why I referenced that. Wanda Diablo, I bought copies of Earthworm Jim and Bigfoot Bill for my nephew. He loved them. Oh, see, that's awesome, dude. That's good to hear. I want to see more of that, you know, get people inspired, you know, and, you know, I'm not arrogant enough to think that I'm going to change the world by doing that. But if, if I can get a few kids, people's kids to check that out, you know, then maybe they'll share with their friends a love for comics or they'll share, you know, they'll get to reading. I mean, anything we can do to kind of help get another generation of comic readers, you know, that's been kind of my my thing. So anyway, there's a long shot. Um, I'll tighten up some a little things, but I want to try to get Poe Fire in here and let her see what's going on. Uh, and Poe Fire, if you are there, let me know. Um, hey Google, hey, thank you, dude. I appreciate it so much. Trust the sidekick says check out Thread Monica on Andy, I mean uh, Randy Green's uh, Twitter. Yeah, it's smoking hot. He absolutely is. Yeah, Randy's awesome. Uh, for those that don't know, that uh, Trusty Sidekick and uh, let's see, let's go through the line. There's Brian Shearer, who everybody loves. Brian Shearer. If you don't know who Brian Shearer is, you need to check him out. We got. Uh, 28 people liked and 19 watching. But anyway, Brian Shearer, trusty sidekick, myself, John Del Sneed, uh, Robert Atkins. Um, man, I'm just having a brain fart right now. But uh, we're all part of a, or at least we all at one point or another, we're all with Randy Green and some other people. Uh, like... Uh, John Del Sneed, uh, Wacky. Uh, we're all part of Tsunami Studios, which is a studio in North Carolina. And we're kind of, we're kind of, uh, some of us are still part of the studio, even though we don't all go to the same, there's not a physical studio to go to. Uh, Steve Bird, yeah, exactly. Um, we're all part of that studio, so that's how we all kind of know each other. Um, here we go. And we're at 20, then we have 29 likes. Um, so here we go. We're going to, uh, poke fire. If you would let me know what costume I did. I get that from you. Let me just double check. Pope is here. Yes. Yeah. Just let me know what, you know, I like to make everybody happy. So if, woo, we got another contribution. What? What? Mark Anthony. Thank you, Mark Anthony. I'm having a thought. Well, I love you, brother. Just I'm overwhelmed by your contribution. Thank you. Uh, just make sure in these uncertain times so that uh, that's definitely what you want. You know, just I love all my backers. I just don't, you know, I want to look out for you guys and make sure that's what you want. But I love it. Thank you, man. All right, Popeye Starfire God is classic Starfire. You're talking George Perez, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, Mark Anthony. You guys are wonderful. I'm overwhelmed with emotion that you guys are this nice. Okay, zombie kebab is checked in. Okay, um, uh, uh, zombie kebab. I'm gonna send you a message on Twitter. All right, real quick. Just want to ask you a real quick question. It won't be anything big. So far, I'm gonna get your. I'm gonna get your uh, sketch. Uh, worked on right now. I'm gonna do a quick uh, a quick rough here. I may have to call it quits here in just a second because uh, my time is kind of run out a little bit. Let me just check. Trusty sidekick. Thank you, trusty sidekick, man. I appreciate it, buddy. All right, Jimmy Nee Cricket comes in, and there we go. Okay, boom, boom. We got Starfire's jacket, and... Hey, guys, I may have to cut it short. If I do, it's I apologize. Okay, I'll put that R on there, the Robin R. I know it's stylized. I may not be getting it exactly correct right at the moment, but hopefully that's pretty close in a rough sketch anyway. Get that long hair turning into a... Get some of these wrinkles in. The wrinkles come in like that. And they create these little... Because wrinkles always behave a certain way, like stress points are right here. sending a message real quick so if you don't see my hands moving it's because I'm using them for something And as usual, uh, <laughs> hey, Migs, Mark Anthony, you both seem to have forgotten me. Uh oh, is there some kind of argument going on? I see May the best man win. Oh, okay. Well, you guys are amazing, and, you know, from me and my family, thank you guys for everybody out here being kind and uh, donating and backing. Probably a better wor word to say is backing the books, and uh, it means a lot. Thank you, guys. 
See, here's, when y'all do this, I have to think of things that I got to give you guys as a personal thank you. And it's always like being creative and trying to figure out something cool. With certain people's got militias. Certain people's got whatever. I got to figure out a name for my fans. Or don't. Maybe I just, you guys, just people, and we don't necessarily have to call ourselves anything, but, you know, you guys are awesome. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right. And let's see here. <laughs> yeah, um, Mark Anthony, Jeremiah Jones, all you guys will be getting, um, uh, when I get all the pages done, at least in the pencil stage, um, I'll get you all a PDF. You know you're going to get ink pages, but I'll get you all PDF so you guys, that's the plan. Uh, get you a PDF so you guys can pick which pages. That's for all the backers that get original art. We'll get PDFs to choose what pages they want to uh, pick from. And then you guys can talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Mark Heather says, Migs, we have the high ground. Don't try it. <laughs> Migs says, you underestimate my power. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I love seeing you guys goof around in the chat, man. Okay. All right. Poke fire. Okay. I've got to call it a... Oh, okay, wait a minute. I may have a moment. I may have a moment. We'll see. We may may still go a little bit longer, okay? Um, I'm getting word that I'm think plans may change. If I get quiet, it's because I'm just texting. But everybody out here, we got 16 people watching, 30 people liking. It's getting up there. Okay. We'll have a robin jacket. Mark Anthony says, back in number 441, Naked Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Naked okay, let me write this down. Woo! Mark. And the uh, naked snake uh, naked snake from Metal Gear Solid Three.
Okay, well, I guess we're going a little longer then. I just got word that we'll be going a little longer. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Jeremiah Jones says, be careful on that search. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, wait a minute. This name Naked Snake. I wonder what kind of uh, things we're going to pull up here. Um, it may not be family friendly. Catch my drift. Okay. All right. Let's get into the inking part of our show. Get some of the sketches over here. Jeremiah Jones, fairness. I guarantee I'm going to get in here and release rough out Jeremiah Jones's, but we'll jump around. Well, let's get Poke Fire taken care of and see how this goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Star Fry's right here. There you go. I'm going to ink it. We, I, I have been given a little extra time, so. And everybody watching, if you're out there, wonderful people in the chat, uh, if you're just watching our, our stream here and you're checking it out, um, we're doing a free sketches for backers stream. I'm working on a Starfire right now, and uh, you can get you Long Shot or uh, Amazon or Zatanna by... Going and checking out Dragon Guard. The link is in the description. Go there, check it out. If you want a free sketch, if you back it, if you back the book tonight, come back here. You'll get a backer number. Drop it in the chat, and I'll draw you a sketch of any character you want. So there you go. All right. So let's get in here. I'm just tending to one of my chats real quick or one of my texts. Bam. Oh my goodness. We are up to 27.803. We're almost at the 28 mark. Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you get the word out to everybody, but get, man. Wow, that's huge for this evening. Thank you, everybody. So we're rocking and rolling. We're we're closing in on that 29. Not very far from 28 at all right now. All right. And what I'm going to do, Pope Fire, don't have a heart attack. I'm just lightly erasing so that when I go in to ink it, I don't have a lot of overbearing lines that will cause me to mess up. Yeah, Pencil for Life, the color guard has been posted on Twitter. Cool, dude. Mix says 30K, here we come. Yes, sir, I hope so. I hope we can even bust even that. Jiminy Cricket, no. Um, what's it know about? All right, let's see. <laughs> Um, Pencil for Life. Yeah, I saw it, dude. It looks great. It looks great. You and Zach are a good combo, man. And I really appreciate it. Oh, I get the note with the nose for it. it took me a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a crime. Yeah, yeah. We're just doing it to lighten it up a little bit so I can see how to ink it and there aren't too many stray pencil lines. Let me look for Robin's emblem. So I get it correct. All 
All right, let's see if we put it around that time frame. We'll do something cool like this. Oh, it's still there. You can still see her. She's in, she's in there. We're just keeping it light. I tend to pencil a little hard on the paper, and I tend to have lines that are um, a little dark when I go in for inking it. So I wanted to make sure I got, by taking the kneaded eraser to it, it just lightens it up enough so that I keep too many of these lines from looking too uh, too chaotic and too busy. Let's see if I can figure out a way to do this check and make it look nifty. Make it look like something Robin, aka Nightwing, would wear. But also kind of keep it almost evocative of maybe the 80s or something. Here we go. There you go, Pope Fire. Yeah, Mark Anthony, they did a really nice job with that piece. That's definitely going to be a card if Brad is cool with it. And Brad, I owe you, man. If it's handyman you need something for, let me know. All right. Good to hear, Brad. Good to hear, man. Well, dude, you, uh, you both are a great team, man. And honestly, you just, you went above and beyond. I was like, when you did the inked and, you know, the pencil and ink version that you showed me, I was fine with that, man. I was just fine with that. You put a hell of a lot of work into it. So, Get those jacket details in here. Little puffy area where her hands are stuck in the jacket. Mm -hmm. 
and the jacket will have like this cool little the sleeves will be multicolored kind of like the old robin costume so you'll have little places of a lighter color and then darker color yeah check out brad's stuff man um we got 15 people watching 30 likes if you're watching right now you can get you a free sketch uh we're going to be calling it quits in about under an hour my schedule got changed a little bit but we're good so if you want to back us right now is a great time to, to back us and get you a free sketch it does not have to be of dragon guard characters although we are promoting dragon guard my book on indiegogo the link is in the description if you're listening right now all you have to do post your backer number um only other cab caveat is you know you come back here post your backer number i will draw single character sketch anybody you want um only thing is is we change the rules slightly in terms of the backers uh, the, the free sketches go out after the campaign ends, which is going to be in 10 days. Um, and if you can choose to have it sent out when your perks go out, when the book is done and at the printers. Um, that's totally up to you. But anyway, you come in, drop your backer number in. You get to choose any character you want. I will draw it six by eight. You can see it here. Lovely. Starfire here. Trying to make some different line weights here. Let me draw these in. There we go. And let's see. So anyway, we got 13 in. Oh no, some people are leaving. Losing some some people. That's okay. We're winding down a little bit. Whoop. But it's amazing. We're already up to... We're looking at... Uh, almost at 28 tonight. So, man, you guys are very kind. And... Uh, I appreciate everybody who's been in here in the chat tonight, and you guys keep liking and sharing. Let people know we're back up to 15. Yay! Now, let's see if I can capture her cute innocence in her expressions. Get some of that cool alien decorative stuff going on in her costume. The little squiggles and things like that. Texture stuff that George did. Show a little love, a little respect. Everything cool so far? Pofire, I want you happy. All right. Here's my bravery test. Let's get Starfire's face right. I 
liking some of the lines from this pen. I'm going to switch over real quick. Brush marker. So one. Let's see if we can do this. All right. You looking good or I didn't did I mess it up did I get her did I get her right want the customer happy here we go 14 people watching 30 likes if you're new here check out Dragon Guard on Indiegogo If you check out Dragon Guard and you like the art, back it. And if you come back in here, drop your backer number in the chat. I will hook you up with a free sketch like I'm doing right now. All right. All right, cool. Well, good, good. The pressure's a little more off now. Putting a little bit of a shadow under her chin. There we go. So she sticks out a little bit more. Stands out. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sleeves got different colors. So maybe one part of the jacket is red, this is yellow, this is green, or something crazy like that. I don't know. You can imagine whatever colors you want. The darker areas are for the kind of different change in the fabric or the saturation. Maybe it's a darker green and a darker red or whatever. These are the little Velcro fasteners or whatever to tighten up the sleeves right here. Taking this time in the stream to design a new jacket. There we go. Boom. Pope, are, Pope is imagining her sleeping. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Well, Pope, are, you know how to get me on Twitter. If you need to go to sleep, that's cool too. We're almost done with your. We're almost done with your. Uh, your drawing anyway, so. I can't imagine. It's going to look. Too much different, other than what you see here right now. Jeremiah Jones says, getting up at 4 a.m. is going to be hell when I get back to work. Oh, man. If you got one of those jobs, I am definitely, definitely not good for that.
All right. This is coming out pretty, pretty fun. I didn't know how I'd be able to handle it, but. We'll put a little bit of shadow on her. Her costume here. Then we're going to get that inside lining of the coat. Nacho Ninja 6 comes in and he says, hello. Jiminy Cricket says it looks awesome, kid. Thank you, Jiminy Cricket. Glad to have you in here, buddy. And uh, Goo Glay, glad to have you in here, buddy. Thank you for hanging out and getting one, getting a sketch. If I didn't thank you before, I wanted to make sure I catch you. Nacho Ninja 6, I think Pope Fire at least. I think Pope Fire knows you. All right, cool. All right. Let's get some of that fire in here. And also, if you get a chance, it shows you how kind of sleepy and kind of slow-minded I am. Uh, I have Lone Star uh, Heart of the Hero redo that I did a uh, I did a cover for. There were nine different covers for the reprint, but it has an extra eight-page backup story for uh, Brando uh, in the reprint version. By Mr. Matt Weldon, Matthew Weldon, and uh, you can check that out. Go back to that. We have Randy Green. We have uh, let's see, Elliot Fernandez, Randy Green, Kanan White, um, myself. Uh, trying to go through Kyle Ritter. Uh, Man, I'm having a brain for it. But anyway, there's nine different covers for that. You can pick your your cover, and there's a whole lot going on with that. And you guys can check out that great book. So we got tons of people to give a shout out to. And I'm almost done. There's here's Starfire, Pope Fire, Googly. Thank you for the sketch. Randomly came across the campaign yesterday, and I thought it looked awesome. And I'm glad to have you along. There we go. Both fired. Oh, this has been some random little uh, feathering lines like I'm doing here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can orient it. But other oh, than some random things like that to give it a, the texture to fade out or Things like that. It you can call this one done. I'm gonna clean up a little a few sketchy lines like this, but this is a a mostly done sketch. And luckily my starfire I don't think stray too far from where it needed to be. All right. Google says, Fraga's uh, Masters of the Multiverse wraps up and Dragon Guard comes in to fill the void. 
Yes, sir. I'm trying to be there. There's a long story behind it, but I've been circling a lot of the Masters of the Universe stuff for years, and uh, I don't know how to say it without starting drama, so I won't say it, but let's just say things. There were arguments. There were disagreements with people that I thought had been water under the bridge. Didn't turn out that was the, the case. So I've been circling a lot of these. Been asked to do a covers and things like that for Masters of the Universe. And other people were kind of, best way to say it is gatekeeping. So um, anyway, I've been circling the Master stuff for many a time. So I'm doing Dragon Guard. I'm going to make it awesome. I'm going to make it look like what I think we should get. From these properties so if you dig that then you i think you're gonna love dragon guard i really do all right we got some wrinkles in the jacket this is cool i'm gonna put my signature and there you go put fire Yeah, kind of a little bit, Zombie Kebab. Yep, a little bit. Like with Conan and the Conan line and the things that didn't work out. And oh, wow, Pope, Pope Fire got a screen grab already sweet i noticed you posted on twitter <laughs> that's awesome very quick all right there we go okay Shoo. all right let's see and thank you Pope Fire. appreciate that you wanted to come in and get a copy of dragon guard and get a sketch okay Let me write Michael's name properly so I can understand how it's. Clarity is not always my strong suit. All right, I'm going to drink of water. Nick says, You nailed Starfire, Kevin. Oh, man. Awesome. Marcus and he says, That's quick. Yeah, it was quick. She put that thing in. Right up for everybody to see, man. Thank you. Thank you, Pope Fire. It's good advertising. All right. Now, what's the next one? Okay, we have a baroness for Jeremiah Jones. I'll tell you what. Jeremiah Jones has been waiting since last night or the other night, Friday, I guess. So let me get Jeremiah Jones at least roughed out. Let him see what's going on. Hope you guys are cool with that. Hang in for a little bit. All right. And if you're out there, we've got 15 people still in here. we got 31 likes. That's great. We're, we're doing a um, free sketches for backers night. Um, I know it's Sunday. We're getting late. But uh, if you're checking us out, go back Dragon Guard. The link is in the description. As soon as you click on that, go check it out. Look at all the wonderful artwork there for the Dragon Guard comic uh, campaign on Indiegogo. If you dig it, there's lots of different tiers. You have original art. You have signed copies of the comics, both both covers. Uh, there will be another, another perk for a Mike Miller cover. Um, he just uh, We just wrapped that up on Friday or Saturday. Um, so there will be all these extra perks. We've got one coming tomorrow for to add as an add-on perk to get a trading card. Uh, also, a print for the 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 ladies of the Dragon Guard book. Um, so we're going to offer you a few things. So if you get a chance, check that out. Uh, come back here. Drop your backer number in the description. I'm going to this 
We're going to call it that this is going to be into the last hour of the show for tonight because just it's getting late, at least on the East Coast. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll go for another about an hour and then I got to head home. So uh, I'll try to get you in here. So if you make it within that time frame, I'll try to get you in here. And if not, I'll at least rough out your characters and try to get you squared away if I, get, if I can't make all links tonight. Um, I'm just looking at the campaign right at the moment. So we're doing awesome. We got 411 backers. We have 200. I mean, uh, 27. Sorry, didn't mean to scare everybody. 27.803 is what we're up to. You guys are awesome. Okay. Uh, and Jeremiah Jones, is there a is there a particular uh, version of Baroness that I need to be aware of? I have a general idea of her costume. But if there's anything specific you want to see, all you have to do is let me know. Okay, Bar uh, Jeremiah Jones is original. That's good enough. All right, checking out the rest before I start drawing. You guys have been awesome. Oh. Yeah, Pokefire says, fun trivia. Kevin did a Starfire comic with Rebels. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can start talking about that myself right now, I guess, if you want. Um, issue, it's either 22 or 23. Of rebels, um, I was hired on to do uh, to do a few pages or like half the book, something like that. Artist was having a little, I might have been having a little bit of a deadline issue. I can't remember. Um, I want to say that was something where something had caught up in the schedule, and um, and I was hired on to do a fill in. And it was pretty fun. I got to draw Starfire and an alien Green Lantern character. Uh, it was a female character. Uh, the story was pretty um, pretty crazy. It w this was right around the time of all that Michael Vick dogfighting stuff. You guys remember that? Um, and uh, there's a little bit I don't know if I can talk about, but Considering how I was kind of thrown under the bus on that story, I'm kind of, it's a sore spot with me, to say the least. But the editors, I've got the script. I don't have the emails anymore, unfortunately, but the, the, I've got the script, and the, the writer kind of, the editor threw me under the bus. They When I originally did the story, they wanted to sneak in an allegory about the right Michael Vick dogfighting stuff, and they put in the script that basically this alien G Green Lantern character, her species, the females were, were uh, females of the species were um, treated much like the, the uh, in the story. And this is sensitive. So, if, you know, if you get mad about this kind of stuff, just tune out for a few minutes. Um, 
but they did a story about the females being treated like some of the dogs where they would find the dogs at Michael Vick's compound and like these, they had these rape stands. If you're familiar with the story. Um, and they had these, these rape stands and this was in the story. I didn't write it. This was nothing I inserted into the story. Um, but uh, the writer had written in there and then sent me reference for the what the rape stand looked like and this and that. And so the editor and stuff told me, hey, man, this is sensitive material. Don't send anything to anybody. Don't let anybody, anybody know about this. And the editor put in the in the email, I remember it plain as day, him going, you know, hey, we're just we're keeping this on the down low because uh, it's a sensitive story and I don't want the information getting out to so-and-so or whatever. And I hadn't let anybody know about it and hadn't done anything about that. So I just drew the page as normal. And so we get to the splash page where the alien green lantern, if you're familiar with the issue in the story, the alien green lantern flies on the prison planet or whatever, where they have a lot of the female of her species and she was freeing them from the pens or whatever that they kept them in for reproducing, you know, this and that. And I was told to draw one of the fem females of her species in a rape stand thing like that, like the dogs. Um, and I tried to keep it as PG as possible as far as what you could see, what was blocked. Um, yeah, Nacho Ninja. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I was told in the script to, to draw these and I tried, you know, anybody that knows me, I'm not really, you know, one to do a whole lot of stuff with, uh, a lot of graphic nudity. It's not that I can't, it's just, I, for the sake of my career, whatever you want to say, I didn't, I don't gravitate toward that stuff. Um, but anyway, they put the notes in there in the script. I drew what I was supposed to draw whatever have you and there's a splash page where you actually they open up one of the pins and you see the, first, the the character the alien female in this rape stand and i it's a big splash page with starfire great starfire and this book had some of the best females i'm a big fan of adam hughes and stuff and i never thought my females really looked as strong as my males when i draw male characters and this was one of those times where air, my Starfire looked, I was pretty proud of it, you know, for what it's worth. And um, anyway, uh, something happened. Um, I'm trying to remember the order of events, but my artwork got out or passed around. And I can't remember if I sent this to an assistant editor at the time. And the editor, assistant editor passed it around. But I got blamed or I got in trouble for the artwork getting out. Even though it was in the script and the main editor asked me to draw this. And told me to keep it on the download. So I got kind of thrown under the bus, for lack of a better word, over a lot of DC's, you know, uh, higher ups getting mad about that that page and that story and it was you know kind of put on me and i've got copies of the script where it actually is described in there for me to draw i didn't make this up i didn't have anything to do with it and so i wasn't really happy with that editor so anyway that's the story that's that's my my starfire story i had uh there's only been a couple of occasions where i've had to deal with people being not cool in the comic industry but you could find that book find the editor and you can understand why i feel pretty put out by that particular situation
Yeah, that's one of the things, man, is that sometimes you're asked to do things and, you know, you're so eager to please editors because you want more work and you want to do a good job. When I say please editors, that's what I mean. You want to do a good job. You want to do the best job you can, not rough on any feathers, keep your head down and make the deadlines and, you know, whatever. And up until that point, me and that editor had been fine, but I was really you know, really a unfair situation that with that editor now that I, you know, I can't he particularly doesn't, you know, wasn't giving me much work after that and it was one of those things where Somebody had to be responsible for the the trouble that that it caused, and I guess they kind of just put it on me. I guess it was easier, whatever. But I have the original pencils for that. I have the original script for that. Um, I may post them at some point. I don't think I should have to spend all these years taking grief for something that I was told to draw. So you guys can see the the rough here. All right. I just gotta make sure I get her hair. Jeremiah Jones, is that looking good for you, buddy? Ah, uh, you already got me. Nacho Ninja, show them. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Migs. Dude, I will not take it as an insult if you need to go get you some sleep, dude. You've been through a lot in the last couple of days. You just... Dealing with that hand, so, dude, totally understand, totally understandable. Excuse me. All right. You put those glasses on her. There my Jones looks great. Exact pose I had in my head. Sweet man. So Pope Fire, there you go. That was the story that I had to tell you. Nothing too bad. I mean, you know, or at least nothing too bad about Starfire. I just that issue of Rebels. That was the best. I think that was the best. Some of the best uh, female characters I had ever drawn, and I was really happy of it. And it's such a bittersweet kind of thing because, you know, for Phil an issue, you know, I like to think that it was a pretty nice looking whoop, win. There we go. Um, a pretty nice looking book. And I was very proud with the way it came. It came out. And uh, I believe in one of my heroes, uh, Bob Wyacek, inked those pages. Um and Bob, if you're familiar with Bob, or if you don't know, um, Bob has inked many, many, many of the titans of the comic book industry. Walt Simonson, George Perret. Well, maybe not. I can't remember if he's inked George or not. He probably has. Um, I know John Byrne. He inked my favorite run, one of my favorite runs on the Hulk. Uh, he inked some of John Byrne's stuff on that. And... Um, Bob Wyacek is just the man. Uh, 
he's one of those guys who's inked a lot of your favorite guys from the 80s and 90s any of your big hot shot artists from that time period bob's inked them and uh i was flattered and surprised that bob was inking my issue with uh, rebels and so All right, here we go with the bravery test. Boom, we're going to hit this in here. Gently. Just do that gently. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Mark Anthony says the black market for your pages is now convening. Kevin Sharp. Ah, oh, dude, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'm going to show you more pages here. I just uh, uh, one of those deals where I've been kind of concentrating on the uh getting you guys your commissions and things like that. I've been sitting on one of the double page spreads that I I want it to look a certain way and it wasn't coming to me and now I finally kind of got it wrangled and uh, it's finally, finally, you know, uh, coalescing into what I had in my head, which is usually, you know, pretty tough to do anyway for me i know with dragon guard though it's been fun a lot of ideas come to mind speaking of which like last night we were going to do the do the stream last night and then uh i kind of got hit with uh a few ideas for some of the last few pages like the visual like you know all the bad guys have a cool layer you know that kind of thing um you know the bad guys good guys have a lair or a castle or a something or another you know and i was trying to figure out something for cryptogor and it finally hit me and i don't know if i should say what it is just yet or whether or not keep that a mystery um but i was sketching that last night trying to get an idea of how i wanted to come out and look uh Google says, do you play d and I do not. My fiance does. I just, I used to play it some with friends when I was younger. I just, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what it is. I just kind of got out of it at some point and I never did return to it. And it's not because of anything bad. I just, it wasn't, it was, I guess I'm impatient. And sometimes when people do like run those things, my imagination is, isn't up to speed with how the game is played, you know, how it's, and I tend to get frustrated real easy, and I don't know why that is. Um, I tend to get a little bit frustrated, and it it's hard to keep my, keep my attention span for it, you know, if that makes any sense. Yes, the evil air. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know whether or not I should tell you guys, but I'm really happy with it. So I was kind of like, <laughs> I was kind of like, man, this is creepy. This is messed up. But it, it, as a visual, I'm sure it's going to, you know, in my head, it looks cool. And I started sketching some of it out. Um, but there's a scene towards the end of the book where you actually get to see how you get to. Cryptogor, the 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 villain in the story, uh, his lair, and it's a scene where <sighs> how to not give give it away, but still describe it. But anyway, just imagine if you will, like a desert, and then there's these rock rock formations that kind of 
you've got there these dark rock formations that make kind of encircle a certain area and then in a certain area um if you've ever seen like uh the like the like the 1970s or maybe the original king kong you know where they have the girl strapped into like this altar you know where the, her arms are up and and whatnot and they had these big columns that she strapped to and think of it like that there's these columns and there's all these spider webs kind of strewn around from the altar and the columns the spider webs go down to the sand it's all sand everywhere but there's these really cool columns and they're all weathered and beaten up and broken and then there's this altar well when he goes into his lair as he walks up to the altar this giant alien trapdoor spider lifts up and the trapdoor is got a tunnel you know because these trapdoor spiders make like these tunnels these little things in the dirt and they pop out and capture their prey well this spider lifts up and the tunnel is underneath the spider and you enter his lair through that so it lifts up and there's all this sand pouring off the spider and all this other stuff so that's kind of the visual that i had i was like man i was like if i can make that you know creepy you know and really get that across it's gonna be a fun visual you know so that's what was kind of stuck in my head so anyway i'm rambling but you guys get the idea that's that's what i was kind of trying to i had this cool thought and i had to catch it before it went away you know <laughs> I have those moments where something will come to me and I go, dude, I got to write this down or I got to draw it before I forget it or, or get caught up in something and just forget I had the idea, you know? Okay. I got this part wrong. I'm going to fix this up. Jeremiah Jones. I got, I got the symbol wrong. I'm just going to fix this. Cause the symbol is actually in the middle of her chest. There we go. I feel better now. There we go. Jeremiah Jones sounds so cool, dude. <laughs> Jeremiah Jones. Party of Cryptogores. Dude, I might have to have him say that. This 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 villain is insane a little bit. He says he's off the cuff. Um not everything's not all the dogs are barking in his head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not all the dogs are barking. Um, he says and does things that are kind of funny, but they're, you know, messed up kind of funny. You know, I'm like, anyway. There we go. Let's get this face right because I want to make sure I get her face right. Google A, that's awesome. Definitely include a map of your world in the book. I might. It depends. Uh, I may save that for the second one because some of the things that we're going to be revealing in the book don't have... Like it's important, let me put it another way. It's important that you don't know where they are just yet in relation to everything because we don't know that in, in the story, you know? Like some of the characters don't know that or this is new information to be revealed. So if I put, it's like maybe the map will come in the second issue, you know? If that makes any kind of sense. And I know that seems kind of crazy. A lot of people are like, hey, you're introducing. It's sort of, you know, this is your first, you know, introduction to the characters. And why would you do it later? But it, it gives some of the things away in the story.
Let's see if I can get her a little bit to be a little bit me. And if anybody is still watching, we got a few people still in the chat. We have Mark Anthony, Zombie Kebab, uh, Jeremiah Jones, Trust the Sidekick is still here. Google A is still here. So we got a few people in here. Um, if you're watching, back Dragon Guard. I am going to be wrapping it up here shortly in the next 30 minutes or so. I'm going to try to get to everybody's drawing and if I, or at least roughing it out before I decide to call it quits um on a sunday night but if you get in here back dragon guard the link is in the description go check it out back it put your come back here you'll get a backer number in your email once you back it you come in here drop the backer number in the chat tell me what character you want a single character and i will sketch it for you and that is free of charge all you have to do is let me know and so it's that easy it's free sketches for backers and i'm understand i've only got as far as i know of before the end of the the campaign i may only do one more of these um at the very minimum there might be two but that's it so this is your only chance for the free sketches other than backing the book and we have original art tiers. We have a video lesson, live stream lesson, or art lesson. If you're looking to up your game, if you're looking to, to you know, just improve your art skills. Um, not understanding of digital art or using programs. I'm just talking about your basic drawing ability. If you're looking to improve that, we have a tier for me to teach you. A few tricks and evaluate your art help you go to that next level if you need it and we've got that as a tier we have and you also get a 11 by 17 sketch with that so you get a character of your choice um, we have other things that are tiers so like original art We might even have another double page spread, maybe. Um, so there's lots of things you can check out. We have sketch cards. We have trading cards. We're just, I think we're on our way to unlocking our second stretch goal, which is trading cards. Our first sketch goal has been unlocked, which is an extra eight pages of story, bringing it up to around seven, uh, 68 pages. So you guys are making it happen, and I appreciate it. Mark Anthony says, limited time offer while supplies last. Be there, be there, be there. It's awesome. We'll throw that in there. Is zombie kebab in the chat still? She may not be, so we'll we'll see. I'm gonna send a text real quick. I'm going to send a tweet out to somebody real quick. Let's 
So if I slow down for a second, I'll just be because of that. How are we doing, by the way? Oh, big doofus, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, trust, trusty sidekick. Yeah, I've got a story. Well, some people put an extra story in there that's separate from the main story, and like they'll have maybe somebody else draw it, that kind of thing. I've got an area where I can expand upon stuff and add to it, you know, just having fun. Um, and that's how I kind of planned everything out. Uh, Zombie Kebab, I'm going to send you a message on Twitter real quick. Nothing major, but I just wanted to send you something. Okay. Anyway, sent you a, sent you a text. Hey guys, I'm going to double check real quick. Uh, I need to step away for a second and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm just sending a text real quick. Uh-huh. Okay. I see how it is. I come back to the chat and I've got this going on. Just sending one more, one more quick text.
All right, back to it. <laughs> hey, there's plenty of people that eat ketchup on eggs. I am not the only one here. Make sure I get those gloves right. Sorry for the slight delay. I'm just trying to get uh, Baroness's costume on point. Me. <laughs> Ketchup on eggs. Say it isn't so. Come on now. There's tons of people that eat ketchup on eggs. I am not the only one. And it's usually on scrambled eggs, not, you know, fried eggs or whatever. Sunny side up, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm going to use the other thing. Google says it's okay. You have boyish taste buds. I don't know what it is. I she gets mad at me because I have, I have very sensitive, or very sensitive palate. I can pick out when something doesn't taste right, and usually I'm correct about it. Like, uh, like if something doesn't taste the way it's supposed to. I can tell if somebody's added something and I didn't know about it. Um, and it drives her nuts. You know, I just was born that way, man. I can't help it. All right, Jeremiah Jones. Is that looking up your alley? Is that looking about right? No. See, see, I'm sitting here having a domestic dispute on a YouTube with somebody who's not even in the room. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, I. Here's the story behind the ham, and it's not that I don't eat ham. I eat ham on sandwiches and things like that. I just don't. I I got lost the taste for eating ham. Uh, I'll tell you why, and it's probably gross, but you guys just bear with me. The reason I don't eat a lot of ham lately, like a baked ham and things like that, is because a few years ago, uh, my daughter or something something happened. And we got all got a stomach virus around the same time. And she had cooked this mustard ham thing, but it was a sweet kind of, I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, this, the sauce was kind of sweet. And it was like honey mustard or something like that ham, maybe. And that night, the stomach virus hit us all or a good chunk of this, or maybe I was the first worst person in the house that it hit, but the stomach virus hit it. So I was constantly throwing up that ham and the taste of that ham stuck with me. If you ever get sick on something, some kind of food, maybe it's just me or, you know, members of my family, but I have this reaction, you know, if you get sick off something, you don't have the taste for that anymore. It just like disgusts you. So, Oh, yeah, Victor. Yeah, yeah, I know. I owe you war, right? Did you ever send me your... 
your mailing address. I think I was waiting to contact you about something. Um, either way, it's cool. I would definitely get you your war. You're like one of the few last remaining holdouts there. Um, <coughs> but anyway, that's what happened. Yes, I. Uh, yeah, I had a, we had had a stomach virus and it hit us, and so I got, you know, that whole night I'm, you know, I'm throwing up ham, you know, the, the rest of the night, that taste, and man, I just could not eat, I, you know, you show me a ham, and I just, man, I lose my appetite, it's probably, I probably could avoid uh sugar and things like that if we all we had for our dinners was that ham because i probably i'd never eat again um but anyway that's what happened that's, that's what she's alluding to when she says that i can't eat any ham i can't eat ham i eat ham on sandwiches and things like that i just whoo it was a very rough night Jeremiah Jones says, Carl's Jr. gave me the worst food, poisoning, worst food poisoning of my life. I can't even drive past that place. Yeah, man. You went, and see, it wasn't even food poisoning. It was just a stomach virus that we were all getting and uh, that had been going around town, man. And I just, uh, it was so awful. Just days of that taste floating around in your mouth you know you can ah uh, it was awful i won't try to sicken anybody but man it was it was rough Yeah, the ham was delicious. Yeah, it was delicious. I never said there was a problem with the actual cooking. I swear. Uh, it just was one of those deals where, no, through no fault of your own, we all got sick from a stomach virus. So. It was going around town, and eventually, no matter how hard we try to avoid it, we got it. How we doing, Jeremiah Jones? She's sufficiently sexy. Mark Anson, Mark Anson. The only time I got sick from fast food was getting orange chicken from Manchu Walk. And that place did end up shutting down for a while, so I guess other people did too. Yeah, yeah. I think we had one of those here in town, maybe in one of our malls, Manchu Walk. I want to say maybe even in Tampa when I lived there. Of course, the food was always delicious. That was one of my problems. I like that stuff way too much. At least at the ones I was going to, anyway. Mig says, Kevin, for G.I. Joe comic. Heck yes. Yeah, um, I did work on G.I. Joe at the time, but the it's, see, you're going to sound, it's going to sound like I'm complaining. I'm just saying that whatever the creative team and the people doing it, we just weren't, uh, what's the best way to say it? I just, I was on the book when Devil's Do was on it, and it wasn't as fun a time as I was hoping it would be. For various reasons and nothing to like I'm not trying to slam anybody so don't read it like that just wasn't as fun like there may be some scripts or some things in the story well you know there were good people there was uh, the anchor on it was a good guy but he didn't mesh with my stuff well 
and so it isn't the best looking that it could be, could have been and also that was 2002 2003 so no maybe it was 2001 2002 something like that and obviously i'm not as i wasn't as good a penciler then as i am now either so it was a lot of little things that i didn't enjoy and it just it's no you know sometimes creative teams don't mesh it's all good you know and uh that's kind of what happened with that. So I did a few issues of GI Joe, uh, but I guarantee you, I would do a much better job now. We'll say that. Um, uh, like I did a poster, another, you know, again, there's a poster out there. You look it up, Kevin Sharp, uh, Tim Townsend, do some kind of search for GI Joe poster. And I did a GI Joe poster that was on fire at the time and i had Tim Townsend ink in it you know so that was a plus right there because tim ink joe Matarera, brandon peterson uh he's inked jim lee also he jim lee on uh some fill-in pages on the heroes reborn stuff that jim did with the fantastic four um and it always looked good you know he's awesome and uh Tim Townsend inked my stuff, and it was a fantastic-looking poster. I never got one of them. That's the one thing that kind of pissed me off was I never got, actually got a got a comp of the poster or anything like that. So I never saw the poster until after it was completed and already been out there for a while. I'll say that was a slight beef that I had with everybody. But, um, but otherwise, it's a fantastic poster, and... Uh, I threw in a bunch of characters that I liked in that artwork because what had happened was I was doing devil's do stuff or getting hired. And I did a, I did a double page spread of just the GI Joes that I like seeing, you know, really cool snake eyes. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble, but I was kind of leaning towards, uh, Jillian Anderson as, uh, as scarlet maybe um i was a, i was a big x Men, x files fan i was watching a lot of that at that time and uh let me see um you know just all kinds of cool characters mercer uh spirit uh let me see junkyard mutt um especially mercer i like the idea of a Ex Cobra guy being with GI Joe and kind of being this almost. I had an idea for him to be kind of a lone wolf, kind of Wolverine kind of attitude, you know, um, tough guy. And I also thought it was hilarious that he'd be like Australian as well, you know. So, um, anyway. I did this really cool poster. It's out there. If you can find it, check it out. Um, Tim Townsend did the ink. So it, 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 the reason I bring it up is because Tim's vision of how he, or how Tim inked it is closer to what my pencils looked like than what my vision was. Tim added a little extra spit, spit and polish to it. Um, because Tim Townsend is, you know, remarkably bad remarkably badass on inks you make a lot of people look good and um i had a lot of fun so while the comic wasn't as close to what i wanted to do with gi joe the poster is a good example of my vision for what i wanted the book to look like at that time and there's so many good guys on stuff that you know You know, I think uh, at the time, I'm trying to think of who was, it was a top cow guy that was doing the covers, and I love his work. I can't remember the name of the guy. It's not Ali Garza. He makes me think of Ali Garza, but it's not him. Uh, I can't think of it right now. But it's he was definitely a top cow artist and freaking loved his work. So he was doing the covers.
yeah, the hard part is, is that I didn't get a copy of it and it's hard to find anybody who's got a good high res of that poster. You can, from what I could tell from my Google searches, I couldn't really find a, a good high res. I know Tim Townsend put the inks maybe on his deviant art site. So he might have shown the inks. I never had a good high res and I didn't find about find out about Tim inking it until like after he had gotten the gig and inked it and he's like, hey, hey dude, I actually inked you on and I was like, What? I think they told me it's like, hey, we got Tim Tim to ink you, and I was like, Holy crap, man. So uh that was pretty cool. All right, well, I want to jump over to Mark Anthony real quick because I'm starting to get tired. So I'll tell you what, uh, if that's okay with you, Jeremiah Jones, I'm going to fill in the blacks and stuff later and then get that other hand in there. Um, but sh let you check it out, let you see my version of the Baroness. And because I got to call in a night here shortly. So we'll jump over to Mark Anthony's. And it is Naked Snake. And I'm hoping I don't come into a lot of <laughs> goofy search results. It'll be all right. I'm just joking about it. And, you know, we got Naked Snake. All right. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. I wonder, does anybody in the chat have an iPad besides uh, Zombie Kebab? Uh, Zach Bradley. Hey, Zach. How you doing, man? Great looking. Did you do the colors on... Uh, you did the colors on... Uh, on uh, Brad's... Uh, dang, I can't even think of my own character. Manator. That's the name of the character. Manator. Did you do the colors on that? Dude, you did a wonderful job, man. If the word hadn't got to you, you did an awesome job. Glad to see you in the chat, too, brother. Um, Mark Anthony, uh, just to double check, Naked Snake is uh, in the camouflage with the gear and, of course, the eye patch. Make sure I'm getting the right reference. Before I start sketching, well... Yep, eye patch and bandana. All right. Now we're counting down last of the stream here. We're going to do a quick... Um, we're going to get Mark Anthony's roughed in and really get it uh, drawn in in pencil. And then you have... If you want to back Dragon Guard... Check out the link in the description and in the chats. Um, if you back Dragon Guard before I finish this drawing, um, come in, drop your backer number, and you will get a free sketch. If I cannot draw it tonight, I will definitely work on it and try to make it a Twitter uh, uh, put it up on Twitter. I should should say. Let's 
Get his hands in here. So we're doing great right now. We're at 27.8 on Dragon Guard, which is fantastic. We're, our goal is the next stretch goal is at 29, which you get free cards. And I think we're on track to do that. Let's see if we can keep pushing it and, and do better. Get us all there a little faster everybody here tonight has been awesome so if you're out there and you're going to back please do and you get a free all you do is back the book come back here drop your backer number in the chat and then you get a free sketch and I will try to at least rough it out for you like I'm doing Mark Anthony's. And if everybody's out there working in the MIGs, checking out stuff, hopefully you found the poster I was talking about and were able to check out the goodness. I was saying before that uh, Tim Townsend might have it on, on his, uh, I think the black and white on his DeviantArt page. So, but yeah, what is that? The G.I. Joe stuff wasn't my favorite looking of my work, but it was it was fun. It was a, I was excited about it, and I really liked the covers. Um, it's got the camo. And we're going to ugly him up a little bit, Mark. I'm just trying to get the basic structure in. Don't worry. Mig says, what year was was that? I think it was, like I said, I love the cover. The guy doing the cover is a big fan of his stuff. Um, I want to say it was around 2001, 2002, maybe. I'm, I'm guessing it was shortly after I did... Uh, um, Extreme X Men: The Savage Land. So that'll give you a rough idea. Yeah, it would be 2002-ish. That was Devil's Due. Keep, for some reason, I don't know. No, I, I remember who it was now. I remember who it was. Uh, uh, Joe Benitez. That's who was doing the cover. There we go. Knew he was a top cow guy. Just couldn't remember his name. But he did. He's got some awesome stuff. What's that book? Lady Mechanica or something like that. Maybe the title. I know that was the last thing I remember seeing his name on. So it made me pretty happy seeing the covers and stuff. I, I wanted to do covers, but if I had to have somebody doing the covers, he did an awesome job.
I'm just looking up what gear he has. Da, 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 da. Mark Anthony says, it's looking on point already. Thank you, brother. Nick says, all I know is, if you were doing the comic currently, it'd be flying out of my hands. All right. Sonic Kebab, so awesome. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, absolutely. We got 16 people watching. That's good. If you're watching and you're interested in Dragon Guard, I'm doing free sketches. Tonight, any character you want, one character, all you have to do is go drag, blah, go back Dragon Guard on Indiegogo. The link is in the description. Once you back it, check your email. You'll have a backer number. Come here, post it in the chat, and we'll be rocking and rolling. Let me know what character you want. We're going to be call, uh, calling it quits here shortly. Mark Anthony says, onward and upward. Heck yeah. Somebody, I think it might have been uh, R2-D2 for life. It said, uh, rise with us. And that's what we want to do. That's a cool little slogan there. So rise with us and help us achieve a really awesome comic. Something that I want to pour my heart into. Make it a nice looking book. Um all I really want to do is right now in my life is to shoot Dragon Guard. Tired. Of, we're at a situation with the industry that I'm not really happy with. Um, I really don't like the idea of comics being used as a or some some editor, some books, some editorial mandates. I don't really I'm not really happy with seeing so many so much politics and things like that in comics and I you know we could have a debate all day whether or not you know certain comics were political politically driven I mean people throw up X-Men but the thing about X-Men is is that while it had a social message to it a message about you know accepting people and things like that it was a different time and a different uh you know, in other words, yeah, X-Men talks about, you know, racism and things like that. Um, they didn't beat you over the head with it, and they didn't, it wasn't the only driving story motivation. You know, like, if you do, didn't look at all the crossovers, did Dark Phoenix wasn't specifically about racism. Uh, uh, Inferno wasn't a social message. <laughs> You know, um, uh, and even when they did, it was more compelling, like when you did, uh, or when they did um, Mutant Massacre, while it was, you know, a social thing, it wasn't overbearing, and I, I think that's my problem, a lot of editors are using this and turning off some con customers and fans, and I know for me, it's very frustrating as an artist or somebody who wants to work for these people to know that they're not worried about being the next 
Dark Phoenix saga. They're more worried about, you know, agendas. And, I, you know, <laughs> I want to do the next Dark Phoenix saga. Maybe I can't, but I would like to at least get a chance to try. And I don't think they're worried about that, you know. I don't think that's what drives editorial. I don't think that's what drives... I don't think that's what drives them nowadays. So I want to do my own thing. That's fun. Maybe one day I can hire a writer that can kind of elevate what I'm trying to do. That has a similar goal, similar love of of a similar love of, of the genre and is more interested in just telling cool stories. So anyway. Mig says, 330K getting ever so close. Yeah, well, I looked at Backer Tracker. I don't know if I should say that, but back, Backer Tracker is predict, predicting me to go a little above that. I'd like to see that happen. We got 10 days, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm glad there's there's a lot of cool comics fans out there still and just want to see the medium do great things again, you know. Mark Anthony, the gun's just a placeholder, so I'll get some of the more the better details in it but if there's a specific gun you want to see me draw um you're more than welcome to let me know you know how to reach me <laughs> next didn't he say he was adding sketch card yes Yes, I am adding uh, sketch cards to the um, the tier tomorrow. It will be an add-on perk. Um, I don't think I'm going to price them like... I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to price them. I may not price them to the degree of what Mike did. I'm not sure. I'm just, you know... Uh, I'm trying to gauge what I should do. And so anyway, but regardless, um, I'm adding a sketch card tier as an add-on perk. So that's, you know, if you ring up something, you get something, you can instantly add that to it. And um, I think we're at a point in the campaign where it won't be too overbearing on my schedule. Um, I maybe put a buffer in there and say, hey, expected it by... You know, instead of October, maybe November or something like that, just to give me a little buffer time to draw the cards. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. We'll see. I need to think it over, talk it over. Uh, <laughs> but guaranteed we're going to do something with the sketch cards and let you guys, if you want to pick sketch card, any characters. I have special Dragon Guard sketch cards printed up I mean how do you guys feel do you want a specific dragon guard sketch card or do you want a blank one uh, I could do you know like we just I'll order blank cards and just draw them or do you want a specific dragon guard theme to the uh, to the presentation um, First thought is to just add something to make it Dragon Guard themed, you know, when I get them printed. Mick says, Jeremiah Jones, there's still those are lonely original pages who need a good home. Yes, exactly. Dude, I'm telling you, my thought, speaking to me and everybody, uh, my thought is I'm going to make those those specific pages that I'm putting up there, even if there's a a chat scene i'm still going to look for something interesting 
to do with it to make the chat seem or the chat scene look really good you know or like to really pop you know um when i say i want this to be the best looking work of my career i, I i'm not kidding you know uh there's no hyperbole i guess i should say and uh that's all that goes through my head um all right so there we go uh mark anthony that's roughed in and while we're we got 12 people in here we got 32 likes uh, if you guys are checking it out, if you're going to back Dragon Guard, I'm going to give you just a few more minutes, and then I've got to call it quits. Uh, I need to get home, but anyway, there we go. There's the rough. Yeah, Jeremiah Jones, like I said, there's no pressure, dude. I, we, we joke around in this and that, but there's no pressure, man. You guys have been so good to me. I can't complain at all, you know. I wouldn't, even if I could, and I wouldn't, and I can't. There's, I've been blessed. I just need to get more people in here and more people checking it out. All right, I'm going to rough in Aetheron real quick for Michael J. McCurdy. Going to get his character rough, his uh, bus shot in so that he has it. And all I have to do is go in and ink it. Checking in on Twitter real quick. All right. And so while I'm here, while everybody's watching, while I've got a few people in here, um, I want to make a quick chance to just give a little take a quick moment to give a shout out to the creative team not just myself but uh we have bob stone who did our logo and he's a heck of an artist in his own right he's venturing out and doing story pages and things like that and commissions so there's bob stone who did the dragon guard logo um, we have uh, the wonderful Eric Weathers on letters, and he's doing his own book, Battle Brick Road, which is a ma major success as it is right now. It's climbing and climbing. Um, he letters a lot of books, a lot of comic skate type books, and uh, the guy is just uh, very prolific and uh I'm lucky to have him on the team. I haven't had a chance to speak with him much, but he agreed to do the letters. And you know, I just gotta, I gotta tell you, I'm happy that I have somebody on on the team like that. And then uh, a big shout out to my colorist, the main main colorist on Dragon Guard, which is Alonzo Espinoza. He goes by Pixel Tool uh, on most things like. Instagram and Twitter. His name is Lonzo Espinoza, and he's been doing a fantastic job of giving me what I need. Um, then we have also doing our cards, our card artwork, uh, doing the colors, is Frank Quanzo, and he is just 
he's a newcomer um and he's dude he's just doing some wonderful colors i'll get you guys uh pics of it soon and post them on twitter again if you haven't already seen them and they give me a lot of good stuff a lot, a lot of a lot of cool things to look for um for you got treats for your eyes there and uh you know i can't do this without a good team i'm not a colorist i'm not a letterer and then we have zombie kebab who will be helping me a little bit on the way to making my decisions helping me with story things bouncing story ideas um So we're, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have a good team with me. And then, of course, I can't thank people without thanking uh, my drawing and quartered and uh, Friday Night Auctions pals, Mike Miller, uh, Edwin, uh, Siege, Eric Needletowski, everybody um, that have been kind to me and pushing me to do Dragon Guard, to do the book and you know just encouraging me to to try to do my own thing it's a scary uh it's, it's kind of a scary proposition because you it looks like it's easy indiegogo makes it looks it look like it's easy to get all these big numbers but you know it's really it takes a lot of work nothing's guaranteed um you know, so uh, thank you, everybody. All righty. So we're looking at 12 people still in here. That's part of our team uh, or part of our crew tonight. And this sketch is for Michael J. McCurdy, who back earlier on, I think he left the chat. I just wanted to make sure I got this out there and I could send him a, a pic or let him see that his sketch has been started. I got a little out of order tonight. I went and started writing down everybody's names and kind of lost track of what order everybody was in. So... I apologize, Michael. So, like we were saying on the uh, drone and quartered, and then the uh, what was it? The uh, Friday night auctions. We took. <laughs> Everybody's giving me grief about his thing. His hair is styled after uh, a little bit after Chris Hemsworth Thor in uh, the Dark World. It's kind of pulled back to the back, but there's strands of it, and then you know the length of it that's kind of hanging hanging down. I take a little um, I don't know. I just I play around with the the length a little bit and how it. Is pulled back but the, that's the general idea if you look at his Thor that's where I kind of get that hairstyle from a little bit Double check my proportions here real quick. Draw a line through. Do, do, do. There we go. Little furry lot furry lining on his arm gauntlets there. Thank you. 
Mark Anthony says, my beef with Michaels is that their site may say an item is available, but walk in the store in the same, that same minute, and it's magically not in stock. Yeah. I have a lot of problems with a lot of sites like that. Um, I've had that happen at a, some, like, sometimes with our Walmart, it's done the same thing. I got nowhere. I don't trust that too much. Alrighty. I may just go ahead and ink some of his face in there as soon as I find the pen. Give everybody a chance. One more. One. I'll give people like five more minutes or whatever to back Dragon Guard if you haven't already. You're lurking. And if not, you've got a great incentive sometime by tomorrow for the add on perk of some sketch cards. Possibly a print of the ladies of Dragon Guard. Show Mark Anthony. I'm getting a rocking and rolling on his. You guys can see me inking. <laughs> oh, Lord. Zombie Kebab says, I want a Men of Dragon Guard print. Jeremiah Jones says, Cryptogore is looking hot. Zombie Kebab says, In a Speedo. Ah, after the events of today, I'm not sure I want to talk about any men and anything, but uh, that's a story for another day. All right. Jeremiah Jones says, Weldon's probably already drawn it. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Throwing in his man candy. Man, I'm going to have to get uh, StreamYard and OBS and be able to drop in the guy love thing every now and then. Where are you at number five? We'll get his bandana flying in here. I wish I had some witty banter, but unfortunately, I'm getting a little sleepy. So it's harder to do the witty, witty banter when I can't even think. See, I can't even say banter.
mean, come on, look at that. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Zombie Kebab says, did you say man candy? Hey, those those are Weldon's words, not mine. I'm repeating after him. That's what he called it. Yes, Weldon coined that term. And uh, Siege and everybody ran with it. So there you go. Or if he didn't coin the term, he definitely used it repeatedly. Yeah. Well, well, to knows how to derail any conversation. Yes. And it's weird, man, because, like, he just, I don't know if it's planned or he just gets in this moment where he stutters and says something that sounds like, it sounds like he did not rehearse it. It just came out of him. But it, at the same time, then when he starts the talking about it, it does sound like it, maybe he thought of it. And wanted to interject it. You know, it's so weird. There's something very mercurial about Weldon. And it goes from his speech, you know, how he does says funny things at just the right time. And, uh, and his drawing style is also, when you dissect it, is very kind of mercurial. And uh, not out of the norm, but he's so good at what he does it's it befuddles me that he can just pick those light sources and things and he's a talent he's one of these people like like to think of like adam hughes or somebody where they're an artist artist where you see them and you just go damn he's just good and in ways that maybe the public doesn't understand when they see his stuff or maybe they don't pick up as much so it's one of those things. <laughs> Zombie Kabbalah says, I'll take that over Moose Knuckle. Oh, I'm going to use, I use that so much. I try to be careful though, because I am on my stream and got to watch it with his kids in the room and stuff like that. But yeah, that's one of my favorites. Okay. All right, my people, here we go. Last call. If you want a Dragon Guard sketch, this is the last moment to do it, to do so. Uh, check out Indiegogo. And if not, for some reason, if you get the links in the description, if you happen to not get one, or if you're on the fence and you're waiting, we are going to add on the add-on per perks for a sketch card, hand-drawn sketch card. Um, here in the last few years, that was one of my ongoing gigs was be was doing uh, sketch cards for places like Upper Deck and whatnot, Cryptozoic stuff like that. So. I figure I'd throw my extra cheese in the ring when it comes to uh, doing sketch cards. So there will be another add-on perk added at some point tomorrow for sketch cards. And if that doesn't excite you, maybe even uh, the females of Dragon Guard, a print, a special print. And if that doesn't excite you, maybe some prints... Done by Matthew Weldon and Elliot Fernandez. 
And then, of course, we have uh, the Mike Miller sketch cover. Or not sketch cover, but a, a Mike Miller cover. So, that's all I can do. All right, Mark Anthony, how am I looking on this? It's not grizzly enough. I can grizzled and oh yeah. Well, I gotta add the uh, I gotta add the uh, five o'clock shadow and all that good stuff to him. That's where we're coming in so far, minus the mullet. We'll get that in there. All right. Okay, cool, cool. So I'm at least on the right track. I want to make sure I get all, all that stuff taken care of. Make sure I get it fairly faithful. Naked snake, yeah, yeah, exactly. So solid snake comes after, okay. All right. Well, guys, it looks like we don't have any more. We got 12 consistent people watching, uh, 32 likes, which is another winner, home run, as far as likes go. It's like the highest likes I've had. Since I've been doing this, I think. Or maybe the last stream was tied, maybe, or something. So, anyway, thank you, everybody. Um, just want to say we're going to wrap this up, but thank you, everybody, for backing us and contributing and for the generous, the generous uh, uh, efforts of people like Mark Anthony and Jeremiah Jones. Um, Migs, but specifically these guys that went above and beyond and offered a free backer thingy to back a copy of Dragon, Dragon Guard for, for anybody in the chat, the first person that jumped on it or whatever, and you guys didn't have to do that, and that was really kind of you. So, uh, you know, just can't ask for nicer people, dude. Um, I say, once again, if you're backing us, you're awesome. And just as with anything, I'm not trying to talk myself out of a success, but I just want to say that, you know, with everything that's going on in the world with this virus, uh, just be responsible. Look out for yourselves. You know, you don't, I'm glad it's a, you're helping me with the success, but um, I want you guys to, mess, you know, have everything you need, you know. So thank you again. Everybody's watching. It's been awesome. Uh, I want to bring you the best book I can. Um, I want to bring you the, you know, just an amazing experience for that type of genre of book. If you never, you know, back in the, I'll make it real quick, but uh, back in the eighties, the only thing that you had with that kind of stuff was, uh, either the Conan comics or really just, uh, star comics type stuff you know they didn't take the he-man stuff they didn't you know you didn't have jim lee doing the he-man books you didn't have uh arthur adams drawing or or john byrne drawing thundercats you know and whoever and you know the hot guy is at the moment you didn't have todd mcfarland doing star comics you, you know so you didn't have that caliber of work on these type books and so this is what I wanted to achieve with that I want to give you a great looking book a great looking indie book and let you see what I see the potential is for this genre of, of comic the fantasy stuff you know 
And you guys have been awesome. And uh, so here we go. We have Naked Snake I'm working on right here. Boom. Uh, there's the Aetheron for our man Michael J. McCurdy. I'm working on the roughs on that. And then obviously, Jeremiah Jones, I'm going to get your Baroness wrapped up. And everybody, thank you for being in. We got 11 people. I'm going to call this night. Um, how in the hell? My likes went down. I'm not sure how that happened. How did my likes go down? I was at 32, and now they're at 29. That's weird. Uh, yeah, we have Starfire. And we have... Migs's piece, which is uh, Amazon from Dragon Crown, Dragon's Crown, and Andrew J. Zitana. Then we have the wonderful long shot, and we have Johnny Fitz's Emma Frost. Yeah, it went up again. I have C31. I see 30 on my screen. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Some YouTube stuff, I guess. I guess I've been been live streaming too long. It's been five hours. Anyway, everybody out there, thank you. It's been an awesome night. Very kind of you guys to back me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jeremiah Jones says, I paid for that, Emma. Send it to me. Joke. Well, anyway. Trusty Sidekick says, has any character been requested more than others? Uh, I want to say, all right, I've got at least two Emma Frost drawn. Um, I know that my character Felina has been requested a couple of times. I know Alita has request, been requested like, Three times, uh, and when I say Elita, I mean my character Elita with an E, not an A. Uh, so yeah, and then yeah, the Zaytanas are at least two or three of them so far. Um, yeah, there's been three Elitas. I think uh, somebody else requested it. I'm not uh, trying to remember. Yeah, so somewhere along the lines, I think it's tied between Elita and uh, yeah, I had two Red Sonias. Um, I think it's tied between Zatanna and Alita, I believe. So, yeah, Jeremiah Jones got Felina. I, I had another one too. I, I'm trying to remember who it was. Um, that was colored. I don't know if you've seen that colored yet, Jeremiah, but I will definitely post uh, images tomorrow. Yep, Mark Anthony says two Ace of Rons. Yep. So, uh, yeah, they're all kind of tied, but uh, the one so far that stands out has been. Uh, Zaytana and Alita, I believe. Because I'm pretty sure there was at least three of those um, as well. So anyway, everybody, um, I want to wish you a good night. Everybody get some sleep. I need to get some sleep. I'm going to get in trouble because it's 1 a.m. Um, and we, yeah, the, the, the YouTube count has went down to 29 now. I don't know what's, I'm probably live streaming too long or something like that. They're probably getting irritated with me uh anyway <coughs> excuse me and uh you guys have been awesome thank you for helping me get across another another goal or another uh mark you know like uh we crossed the 27 and we're almost at 28 so anybody everybody have a great night uh peace and much respect to you guys and we'll see you soon. I've got at least one more of these strong streams to do. At least one, maybe two. Okay? All right. Good night, everybody.